Hello, what's happening? What's up, Zealousy Grubervant? Agent Vetter, loose minded, pie is good for all. JH384, Esquire. Everyone's having an amazing and wonderful Wednesday. What's up, Krabby Goofling? We're going to be starting a new set of FTL no pause ships today. Been thinking about it for the past week and a half or so. Last time we did a no pause set, I got pretty frustrated because, well, I was just grinding out the no pause. But since we have other things to work on, I think mixing in no pause runs makes a lot of sense. I also uh, was thinking about pinnacle gaming experiences over my career, and FTL no pause is definitely top three. What's up, Captain Falcon Zero, Figination, Mambe, Aero Yali, Katie Ricari, Sanuki25. Mr. Pocknock, good to see you, sir. Let's get this party started, shall we? Let's see where we're at on names here. Bunny Wild was high score number two, so we're gonna start there. We'll go classic here, we'll go the beard. Tasty, slow cooker. Sorry that you got humanitis, bud. Nerd Stalgic and Keep it dapper. Orbidian. Jamie Allegro, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Let me just make sure I unbound pause. Yeah, I can't pause. I can. Yeah, I can't pause, period. Actually, what I should do here is make middle mouse uh, pause. Yeehaw, no, that's, uh, that's too close. Oh, because I rebound that. Okay, F10 will be fine then. Alright, so we start with Burst Laser Artemis here. The ship has a better than average start. Burst Laser 2 and all. Do, 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 do. Haven't decided Led Zepter. Okay, this looks pretty good. Get three nebulas into uh, going down here and back up. It's like a good amount of jumps. Decent connector. What's up, Hugo? Okay. Boris is trying to get away. Why wouldn't it? We'll shoot one Artemis missile into the piloting here to hopefully uh, disable their their dodge. Very good. Thought maybe a fire started there, but it didn't. What's up, Kern? Nice to see you, sir. Scottish skipping butter pants, Omega. Everyone's having just a great day. Do do do. Do 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 do. do. Because I haven't been playing it, Temporal Paradox. Oh, there was fire on board. Okay, let's uh, let's vent out real quick. I know where the fire is. It's gonna be right here. Yeah, that happened. You should get that fire out at least. It's good. Thank you for not stun bombing my piloting. Should do all right for that, yeah, psychotic. All right, 18 scrap, pretty darn good reward. No pause, no problem, not so much. Pausing is a huge part of this game. No pause puts you in some really crappy situations. On a good note, though, we've gotten, uh, th looks like three fights. Alright. No, 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 no. Why are they hanging out in there? This doesn't make any sense. There they go.
I would say twice as hard is a good estimate, estimation of uh, how much harder it is with no pots. I'd say that's fair. Okay, they got two lasers, that's not great. Um, I'm gonna use a missile here to try to avoid damage. So we know if we get fires and other stuff starting, it, basically in a no pause run, if anything goes wrong, it can snowball really quickly into a very bad situation. How would you close the exterior doors only if the, all the doors are open if you press close, I think it does that. Maybe. Wow, I didn't see I didn't see that happening. That's unfortunate. I misread the tooltip there. I don't think that'll actually cost me any jumps though, on a good note. We'll see. Okay, defense drone sucks. Can't say that I have, Bungholio. Uh, I'm actually not going to repair shields here. Not yet, anyways. Okay, there we go. Now we can repair shields. Yeah, buddy. FTL is only 10 bucks indeed. What a steal. Come on. At least it's only a Lado, I guess. But still, it's chipping away. Chipping away. I'd say we're in a pretty good spot for where we're at, though. Uh, missing out on that uh, automated kill was kind of unfortunate. I should have gone for the piloting there, but that's okay. The Fleet Pursuit double could be a big deal, but I don't think it's going to actually hurt me here. Retro Brit Gamer, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the two consecutive months. Much love. Much love. What's up, Solution? The man to surrender of their goods. Oh my goodness, and they don't want to fight. Well... We're gonna have to Artemis the piloting and try to burst laser the uh, the weapons. Hopefully their missile launcher goes down first. We have another Lado missile happening here. Okay, that's good. That's not. Okay, if I can hit their shields here, it will they'll be fully delayed. They will uh, prioritize their weapons and shielding over piloting. Yeah, there we go. Very nice. Bella Maru, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper Bella Maru. Appreciate the support. Much love. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. Oh my god, another missile launcher? What is this? I'm gonna use an Artemis here. I don't know if that's the best idea, but... Well, maybe not. I need to hold on to those. Okay, now we'll try. That'll do. I uh, should have waited there. Do. A uh, risk rains out on Vita now. That's cool. It's a great game. Keep it. Sathias, so thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 28 consecutive months. Much love. A lot of missile launchers this uh, this run so far, but I feel like our scrap gains have been appropriate. Uh. 
Well, maybe that double fleet pursuit will come back and bite us, but I still think we're having a pretty good run. Yeah, beam weapons are not preferred in no pause, that's correct. And the reason for that being that uh, you have to time out the shields being down just perfectly. No mods, M goods. Yeah, you don't really need to buy an expensive knife to get a good knife. You just have to buy a steel with your knife is the main thing. Buy a steel and keep it. That'll keep it sharp. You can keep a crappy knife sharp forever with a good, good steel. I wish we had the fourth crew, but I think we got to get the dodge training here. So that being the case, we're going to play around a pinball while we train. I don't see why not. See you guys on the other side shortly. All right, we got a two laser ship versus two shields, so we should be dodge trained by the time we're done with one game. Should be. And now, on with the show. So anybody that was watching the end of the stream last night, the creature broke. Okay, right as we were finishing, what happened was I heard the ball hit the bottom of the cabinet. What happened was there's a little uh, thing that holds the ball underneath this wireframe, and the mastic or whatever they used popped off on that, so there was nowhere for the ball to land. Easy fix. Okay. Dark in here. I have not gotten rid of any machines. I got it. We have Star Trek Vengeance, Star Trek Next Generation, Adam's Family, Creature in the Black Lagoon. And coming soon, Ghostbusters. Gigabits Gaming, thank you for keeping it down. For appreciate the 17 consecutive months, sir. And a little flipper to you, man. Much love. Get up there. There we go. Move your car. Just need M for multi ball. Unfortunate uh, into the move your car there, but I think we can get back to move your car for three shots. I'm gonna guess three weeks, Evan Morn, whenever it gets here. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Yeah, that's right, three shots. machine that's right radiant ice there you go gaming power set indeed I would like to go back for move your car but I'd like to also start multi balls so let's do that sequential film award
There we go. Stream started at 6 p.m. on the button. Sure, we're not done training, and I'd like a better round than that. Okay. I'll take it. Got two letters lit. Just like to get into a multi ball, you know. That's all. snack bar shop for this. Right. Oh yeah, we fixed it. Anything that's mechanical is a slam dunk to fix. It was just a uh, piece came loose. Just had to glue it back on there. What's up, Rog64? Good to see you. Resident Drifter, Dracinius, Kern. All right, there we go. Our Dodge training just got done. Keep it dapper. Hasty Apple, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 22 consecutive months. Much love. Appreciate you. Do 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 do. Three fuel, one drum part. Nah, need more scrap than that. This is looking to be about a hundred scrap sector. I guess it depends on the rewards we get for the next couple jumps, but. And no, I don't consider looking at the jump map to be pausing. Y2, Ken, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 44 consecutive months, sir. Much love, dude. Much love. What a player. The big 4-4. Four -four. I'm gonna fight the ship. Alright, the ship can't hit me. Great. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Dapper. A big sandwich. Thank you for keeping a Dapper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Do, 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 do. I can't even spell 44. That's all good, man. Thanks for being here. Do, 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 do. They must have a repair drone to be getting repaired that fast. They must. They do. I'm guessing an NG and a repair drone there. Okay, we'll aim for piloting then. High score on creature at least 1.2 billion. Get out of here with that. Okay, I have to jump away then. That is so unfortunate. Though it's still been a very good sector. I should have loaded up the Artemis there as soon as I saw that. Shame on me. Tarp cleaning service man, thank you for keeping a tab. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months, sir. Much love. That was most unfortunate. That's the second ship that got away from us, including one that gave double pursuit. But I think our scrap gains have still been on par for a decent sector. We spent 50 on shields and 20 on a power bar, plus the 35 we have now, so. We're already over 100 scrap, and there is a weapon we can actually use. Okay, cool. That makes up for any problems that we were having before. Okay, they're trying to get away, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Artemis. Artemis the weapon and hit the pilot. Spud Gun McGee. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for the support, man. Much love to you. Okay, I'm going to go pretty aggressive with the Artemis missiles now, uh, trying to disable their ship, because we have a laser charger, which we're going to try to rally into at the start of the next sector. That'll give me to five lasers, which is definitely an adequate setup for where we're at. Do -do. It's only 35 to get that online. I guess I could do a 35 and a power bar. I have that right now for the five lasers set up. Let's, uh, let's do that. It's a little bit early to be investing into weapons, but in no pause, having more projectiles to disable enemy weapons, the better. Uh, I'd say NGA is probably one of the easier no pause ships. If I had to pick one. Nothing's easy, no pause, but it's definitely one of the higher tiers. Free scrap, okay. That actually turned out pretty nice. I'm half tempted to go Abandoned Sector here, because Abandoned Sectors have generally have pretty good rewards. Uh, somewhat harder vessels, but good rewards. Yeah, let's, let's go Abandoned here. Okay, not a good exit location. Here we are. Manus B is pretty brutal, brutal, but uh, let's attack the vessel for no pause, but it works out okay. Boarding strats in general are hard to execute on no pause ships, but certainly not impossible. Abandoned Sector 2 is about the only time you see me go into Abandoned Sector with good reason. Anything past Sector 2 gets very frightening. I hope you feel better soon, Sky the Dog. That's a bummer, man. Spud Gun McGee. What a name, what a player. I'll buy another power bar here. Intruders on board. Okay, at least it's just humanitis.
At least it's just humanitis. This run's definitely on the edge, but it's uh, it's leaning towards being okay. We gotta get gotta get a few things here, but I think we're gonna be okay. Um, I will give you three fuel. Twenty scrap is repayment. Okay, that was definitely fiscally sound. Two, th we're gonna go one, two, like three, four, five, six, seven, maybe. Okay, flat cannon's a bummer, but only one shield. Should have waited for my O2 to recharge there, but I did not. Everything worked out okay. Boom, boom. Yeah, I was thinking about some of my pinnacle gaming experiences being a broadcaster, and no pause FTL is definitely way up there. Way up there. No pause FTL can be super grueling. Do 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 do. We're gonna go for shields next. We're gonna keep the uh, charge laser in reserve for when that missile launcher comes back. Is if you can keep the sh the shields and weapons disabled, they will not be able to run away from you. Okay, it's just a Lado. Do 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 do. We're gonna go for shields next. We're gonna keep the uh, charge laser in reserve for when that missile launcher comes back. Is if you can keep the sh the shields and weapons disabled, they will not be able to run away from you. Six fuel, one drone part, and eight. I'm gonna take the six fuel here. We know we're gonna have to buy fuel anyways, so that ends up being a good deal. Again. Well, thanks for making me not vent my ship. I appreciate that. Yeah, no kidding. We have we've only seen one Lanius vessel so far. Indeed, Tar Elther. Good observation. So on no pause runs, defense drones are highly prioritized. Uh, cloaking is as well. Boarding is much harder to execute. Okay, I think we can go one, two, three, exit. I have as much scrap as possible for the store. Okay, mind control sucks, but we can deal with that. The ship can't hit me, so we'll just go straight for uh, hitting the mind control. Wow, I missed, okay. That's fair. Oh damn, it's level two mind control as well. Harsh. What do you mean a full unlock run, Tile Lightson? I don't understand. Six fuel, seven missiles, and ten scrap. Okay, I'll take that deal too. Dapper. The Derpinator, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 38 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. Well, too early to be buying anything like that. We're going to go ahead and get back in the green. We're at 12 fuel, so I don't need to invest in that either. Uh, I'm, I think I'm going to buy weapon power here. We have 25 missiles, and getting that Artemis into the system gives us a pretty good... Uh, uh, that would take about a month and a half tile lights in, to be honest. So, uh, I'm sure it's in there in my VOD somewhere, but there's no way I could purposefully set up that run. Uh-oh. It would just take too long.
They take at least a month of playing every day. Man, these deals are just so good. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and accept the offer again. We know we're going to need fuel. We know we're going to. Yeah, that would take about a month of playing FTL every single day with the sole purpose of doing unlocks. If I could do it in like a day or two, I certainly would, but... Just not really realistic. What's up, Simcopter? Uh, okay. I took the risk of losing a crew there. Not my smartest move, but we did it. Okay, there's another story. If we go one, two... We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Doing great, Simcopter. Not really, Nighthawk. This the deals have been uh, the deals have been sound this run, so I've been taking them. Okay, I really should have loaded this up first. And shields are down. I'm getting railed by a drone. This is not good. I should have seen that coming. Not good. Mm -hmm. Back up, Dean Abing. It sells for 25. That basically makes up for my mistake there. So I'll take that deal as well. Take all of the deals. Especially in early sectors, I'm more likely to take deals, Nighthawk, because if you're low on fuel, you know that fuel always costs three per. So if you're down to four fuel and you get offered six fuel as a reward, you have to take into account that that six fuel is actually 18 scrap. So being low on fuel is the most likely place for me to take a deal. No idea on that one, Stab me a good stab. Okay, we gotta wait for our stuff not to be ion damaged. That should be our opportunity here. So we're waiting for the ion damage to dissipate from our systems to jump. This way we're not jumping into the next uh, jump with no shields. That's never a good time. Okay, I'm actually gonna go one, two, three. As I can. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's a burst laser three. We definitely want the Artemis loaded here. We're gonna take one volley at this, and hopefully the burst laser three goes down. If not, I gotta fire the Artemis missile. And really I should be uh Shouldn't be shy about using my Artemis missiles. I got 29 missiles at home. Not too bad. Accepting deals should still add to your total score. You don't get the score for blowing up the enemy ship, but you still get scrap, which does calculate into your score. Not good enough deal. All right, 24, that's better. Not sure what I would buy here. Definitely none of that stuff. 
Okay, we're gonna sell the backup DNA bank. We're gonna buy a few repairs. I'm gonna buy two fuel here. We're gonna buy a two power bars for our ship and our third engine. Cool. So we're about where we need to be for offense. Would like to add another laser weapon in, but that doesn't happen. We're still okay. And uh, this is definitely going to be a dive sector as well, so good time to get three, uh, three engines. Yeah, I have no doubt we'll be diving here, because this connects to the exit, so we're going to get at least two, if not three, extra jumps for doing this. What's up, Dak Mank? Hey, free stuff. I think I should actually go through the exit, then come back down and around back up. All right, that's a halberd beam. Wow. The misses. Um, no, diving's usually not too bad on no pause. It definitely can uh, screw you, but a, a good dive is a good dive. You get extra jumps out of your sector, like up to three jumps. It's almost always worth diving, in my opinion. These guys got some jukes on them. That's all I'm saying. What's up, Lord? Nice to see you, sir. Okay. Yeah, all right. Diving is when you allow the uh, the enemy rebel fleet to get ahead of you, and then you have to take a much harder than normal fight for less scrap. Or no scrap, actually, but you get the extra jumps, which is nice. Wow, okay. Pretty intense amount of missile ships this run. Uh, if you have five engines and you're fully charged, no, six engines and fully charged, you can get out before the ASB fires. With three engines, you can get out before the second ASB fires. Ship could be bad. I don't think so, though. I think we'll be all right. Okay, let's go here just for safety. Safety first. Uh, they need to be. Fully powered Nios, so your uh, your recharge rate on your FTL is based on. Oops, I didn't mean to fire that. It's always based on how many power you have in engines currently. Do, 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 do. Defense drone mark one here is awfully tempting. You know what? I'm actually going to buy defense drone mark one. I think that's going to be my best chance for success. Keep it I'd like third way. shields, but with the amount of uh, missile ships we've seen so far this run, that seems like a pretty good deal. I'm going to go ahead and grab more than average repairs right now. This is the last sector we can get uh, two scrap repairs from. Gino Gar, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 35 consecutive months.
Is this three jumps? Maybe. Well, we know this is two, so I'm gonna go one, two, and then maybe three, four. But one, two, three will definitely work. Always hard mode, not Kel. We only play on hard mode. See, that's a big ass missile launcher. Drone recovery arm is almost never worth it unless you have a specific system built around offensive drones. I need to get over here and stop him from destroying that. Alright, we're gonna everybody healed up right after this fight. Looks good. Energy instigator. Get wrecked. And we're definitely hanging on the edge on this run. We start running into three three shield ships next sector. We're gonna have a pretty mediocre time, I feel. Are we in sector three or sector four? I think we're still in three. Yeah, okay. Yes, that would have been awful if I didn't buy the defense drone. You're absolutely right about that. I don't know, we've seen just basically all missile ships so far this run, so... Uh, makes sense. At least it makes sense to me. Nice. No, nope, that's not enough fuel, sir. Not enough. Now, if you find scrap recovery arm, you're incredibly happy, but you can never really afford to buy scrap recovery arm on hard mode. There's just not enough scrap available. That 50 scrap is too important for upgrading your ship, in my opinion. Three missiles for two drone parts. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the power bars now so we can have our defense drone and three engines online. This may be the difference between getting away from this fight unscathed or getting completely wrecked. Cheers, Action Johnson. I'm glad you've been enjoying the pod, sir. Appreciate it. Okay, double borders. Oh, don't do that, though. That sucks a limit. Okay, they left. Um, we may get out of here. Like, maybe. Oh, we got out. Good. Let's go NG controlled here. That went better than I thought it was going to. Okay, we have double store here, but no scrap to spend. Unfortunate. I had a great time at TwitchCon last year, Warlock. Thought it was very nice.
Absolutely, I'm going this year. I'll be going every year. Uh, I think after getting inducted to the Twitch TV Hall of Fame, I'm kind of uh, required to go and happy to go. Had a really good time last year and look forward to doing it again this year. 100% will be there this year and every year, barring an emergency. That was a free 40 scrap. That was a nice, uh, nice little event there. Keep it down. Okay, enemy FTL is charging. Little Nog, a thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate these six consecutive months. Much love. I don't know, man. The offense is behind now, too. This could go sour really quick. We're like one bad ship away from having a really bad time. Okay, that's good. Let's hope for the best here. Yeah, where are the crew? Where are the crew indeed? Okay, long range scanners have to buy. It's not even really an option not to. Yeah, we can avoid that pulsar I was going to jump into. Nice. Worked out pretty well. Yeah, long range scanners will always be worth it. Always. Keep it dapper. Elijah Bailey Quad Four. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the dapper, Elijah Bailey. Appreciate the support. Much love to you. Much love. Just one more damage, one more. Let's get some love in the chat. It's a pretty weak wall. Thirty-two scrap. Okay. Long time lurker, first time subscriber. Well, thank you for working me into your budget. I greatly appreciate it. And much love to you. Alright, we're gonna take these two fights and hit the store and hopefully get to transition to better weapons, because we're at we're at critical mass for weapons right now. We can't really We're getting very lucky with the ships we're receiving here. I'll say that. Much better. One hit's better than no hits, I guess. Keep it Casually down. challenged. Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months. Much love. Well, the clone bay has obvious benefits for no pause runs, but you can't really afford to ever switch out your healing system. Uh, same deal as with the scrap recovery arm, except for worse, because if you already have a med bay or clone bay, you can't justify spending 50 scrap just to swap that out when you already have something that kind of works. But uh, for obvious reasons, clone bay is better for no pause. Allows for a lot more, um, a lot more mistakes. I think I'm best off just buying my third shield here, and that's what I'm gonna do.
Uh, Nillabilly, we have a guy in town that sharpens knives. I only get my knives sharpened about once a year. If you steal your knives and take care of them, uh, you really shouldn't have any issues with them becoming dull very quickly. Keep it dapper. Ryu-san, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the dapper. Much love to you. Do appreciate. Uh, whenever we did the last emote swap, Vinogar, about three months ago, we were right at the threshold to have uh, be able to swap out emotes, so I swapped out a bunch of them at once. Because it made sense. Whoa there, buddy boy. That's two fires in the med bay. Let's not. Oh my goodness, and doors went down. Um, no surrender for you. I really should have focused weapons here, but I didn't. There we go. You done, sons. Okay, this is kind of tricky. We just had to make sure that the uh, doors get fixed here. Well, the doors are bad when you're venting, of course. Cool, Tallahassee. Good stuff. I got you, Nilla Billy. I don't own a uh, sharpening stone. I debated buying one at some point and then realized it's a pretty heavy piece of equipment. Well, it's not huge or anything, but um, with the amount my knives actually need to be sharpened, I didn't think it was worth buying. They're like a try try sharpening stone is a very nice thing to have if you have a lot of utensils and stuff. I don't think I make that. What's up, Boltar? Door subsystem for 15 scrap. I'm gonna agree to this exchange. Level two doors is extremely helpful and no pause as well. Oof. Rebel control that is. Sure, Great Connect. The more doors that are open to space, the faster, uh, the faster the auction will vent out of the ship. So, like for example, you can't really tell here, but like if I have one, let's do a little test here. See how it's draining this way, going pretty slow, losing the O2. But then let's open both of these doors and then open this one. It should go faster. See, about twice as fast. So the more doors that are open out to space, the faster uh, the O2 will vent out of the ship. I don't tell us. I have very little interest in uh, virtual reality, to be honest. Okay, this is not good. Oh my god, and the hack. Please be level one hacking or he's dead. Keep it dapper. That's probably the end here. We'll see. What a ship. MT2 Shino, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the two years of consecutive support. Much love, man. Much love. Well, we had a lot of stuff go right and a lot of stuff go wrong on this run so far. Two crew is pretty bad for no pause though. Not good at all. Pausing definitely could have saved me there. It could have.
Good night, Babette. Have a good one. Man, oh man. I'm still trying to hold out hope here, but it's it's looking pretty grim. Pretty damn grim. Oh, he's gonna cloak under that. Ooh, not quite. Nice. Yeah, sure. Sure, you're allowed to study the ship uh, when you go into the jump. You're just not allowed to hit use the pause feature of the of the game. I will 100% be at TwitchCon every year, barring an emergency. It's the only it's the only event I have any interest in attending, out of all the PAXs and all that stuff. So if you want to meet me or you want to, yeah, if you want to meet me, TwitchCon's definitely the place to do it. And will be for the foreseeable future. Yeah, the offense is the problem right now. You got that right, Monkey Tom. Uh, we're actually set up pretty good defensively, but if I could rally into a good weapon system, the run could open up, which is why we're still holding on hope. But the odds of that happening in this sector is pretty low. Do 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 do. We have five lasers right now to most ships three shields, which is just not enough. Cool hostile G4, this will be fun. I had a great time at TwitchCon last year. Yeah, that is a problem, Zach Allen. We've got lousy humanitis. Crew's also the biggest problem I have right now. We need at least at least three crew to handle uh, to handle borders and stuff of that nature. At least. But it's still recoverable. Not sure what there's to say, Aetheroplexus. It's a cut of meat. Do, 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 do. Oh boy. Well, the ship can't hit me on a good note. I can't really hit it either. Okay, we're going to have to try to disable their hacking, or not. Okay, well, they're apparently not high on dodge here because of their hack. That's good. That's actually a very lucky, uh, lucky ship for me to have to fight. Keep it down. Molio Tardiflets, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the nine consecutive months. Much love. Appreciate you. Thank you for the great nine months. Oh, come on, game. You're killing me. Slowly.
My gut tells me to reset this run, but I know for a fact I can recover from this, which is why we're not. Okay, that's good. The likelihood of recovering is probably below 10%, but it's definitely a possibility, and those are the absolute best wins. So you need to run into a few slaver ships, maybe find a weapon in space, and we can definitely recover. We have three shields and three engines. Five lasers. If we just add one more projectile onto this system, specifically like a flak one or a burst laser two, we're actually in a pretty good place. I would highly recommend starting playing on easy when you start in FTL. There's so much, so many things you need to learn in this game that uh, you're just not going to be able to do playing on uh, hard mode. Oh, start on easy, get a win on easy, then move to normal, and then once you get a few wins on normal, then move to hard mode. Is my suggestion. Yep, sounds about right, awful. I think most concerning this run is how much we spent on repairs. Uh, Jorgen, I was thinking about Pinnacle gaming experiences over my career, and uh, FTL was really high up there. The FTL no-pause runs. So I wanted to give the uh, set another go. Also, last time I uh, last time I did FTL no pause runs, I got a little bit frustrated because I was only playing FTL. And now that we have other things to work in the rotation, I think it's going to work nicer. If I end up getting frustrated playing FTL, we can just move on to something else, which I didn't really have that option uh, last time I did these runs. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, I bet I can get uh, Ferehu's final knowledge today. How is Black Desert Online? 10 out of 10, amazing game. Cannot recommend that game highly enough. What are some basic tips for playing this game that you may not learn on easy? Honestly, you can learn basically everything on easy. Uh, what you have to learn when you're playing hard mode is how to effectively manage your scrap. But uh, on easy mode, you get to try different things out and see what works for you and what doesn't work for you, which is a huge benefit. But basically, all the information you need to learn to be a successful FTL player, you can learn on easy. It'll just be easier to get the wins. When you start getting to normal, you realize that you have a lot less scrap to work with. And then when you finally get to hard mode, you'll realize that you have to be very careful on how you spend your scrap. But there's very little that you can't learn on easy mode in this game. Hey, congratulations, Graf Spay. That's cool, dude. Come on. Come on. This is, this is being brutal right now. It's a painful run. Do it, you'll nest, so you'll get there. Let's give it some time. I would describe this run as arduous so far. There's a crew. What's happening there, Bubba? Okay, that's that's good. Also quite lucky since I had the uh, the manually search event there, which was a 25% chance to lose a crew myself. Mm -hmm. 
do 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 What's up, Acorn? Do 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 Now there's always next time wobbly chair. It was still entertaining, sir. As always. So yeah, like I want to spend the scrap on my ship right now, but I have to, I must find a store and get a better weapon. It's the only way we can recover here is if we get a better weapon system. I don't know what that is, Kisuken, so I'm going to say no. Dude, that defense drone on frickin' point, though. Oh my god, those jukes. I don't think it sucks at all. I'm really glad they're not making a, a sequel to this game. So when you make a sequel to the game, you have the expectation that it's gonna be better than the... It's gonna be better than this game, and I don't think that's really possible. Very excited to see what the devs do next. But I think it was very uh, respectful of the devs to, one, release a free DLC for this game to extend the content, and two, not do a cash grab and try to continue pushing out DLC and other content for a game that is already well-balanced. Well, Acorn, I'm glad you could stop by tonight, sir. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, go for it, Blue Jell. It's fine. Yeah, this ship has a super high dodge rate. We're just gonna stay the course, keep hitting the shields. We've gotten extremely lucky that most of the ships we fought in this sector cannot damage us. Yep, definitely, Namus. I 100% agree. You guys ask, why do you still play a game from 2012? Because frankly, it's better than pretty much every other game that's released in the past four years. It is just that good. And if you don't agree with that statement, we can agree to disagree. So you got way too many jukes, Auto Hacker. That's all I'm saying. God bless. God bless. Oh, it's a fantastic streaming game, too. Not saying this game's for everybody, but from a game design perspective, this game is really, really well done. Oh, look, they're out of shields now. I'm going to guess 55% evasion on that ship. What is behind me? A kitty? Look at those jelly beans. Look at those jelly beans. He's dead to the world right now. Dang. You'll improve my reactor for five missiles and two drone parts. I mean, I want to really bad. Let's do it. If we're not going to get a weapon to replace this Artemis anyways, the run's over. So uh, I might as well do that. Okay, we gotta go store hunting here. No. FTL recharge booster, thanks. How much scrap are we gonna miss out on looking for a store? A lot. There's the store. Okay, does this connect up too? Does this connect over? It does. Keep it dapper. Man, that is really depressing. Oh, there's another store up here. Okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta waste the jump and go up here to check. 
Delayed Storm, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper Delayed Storm. Do appreciate it. Much love. All right. Well, we basically have to buy hacking here. That's uh, that's what we have to do. And we have to invest into hacking and the power for it. So that we can hack shields and actually do some damage. That's really the only choice. And we're actually okay now. We have six projectiles, one being a heavy laser. And I may just get another power and weapons when I can, but uh, let's buy our fourth engine. I'm going to check my, uh, my hotkeys here real quick. Power hacking? No, I want to... What is, what is send hacking? Start hacking. That needs to be F. Mind control needs to be G. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, Well, I wouldn't say a win's likely here, but it is uh, a much better situation than we were in. Okay, so like this ship, I'm not going to use hacking, even though it would be really nice to do, because we can hit this ship with our current setup, and we have the drone to shoot down the missile. I'm going to say no real harm done there. Don't want to use two drone parts if I don't have to. Dapper. Epic Blue Sheep, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Cool, Fanix. Glad you've been enjoying Blader Musa. Or Musa Maywa. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, was it too hot up there, Winston? Too hot for a little baby kitty. Good boy. That's my good boy. You're such a spoiled little kitty. What's up, Lagbot? No pause hype indeed. I miss Bob Griffin. I feel like I did. Bob Griffin, thank you for the six consecutive months, sir. I appreciate you. Pretty soon he's going to be too fat to sit on this little ledge, aren't you, buddy? Yeah. Too much of a fatty caddy. Well, another ship where it's not really worth using hacking, I feel. And before they dodge everything. Oh, they slammed my weapons. All right, then. God bless. Oof. Okay, they're out of missiles now. That's good. I guess. Zero percent dodge is not good with that burst laser. God, why? Frustrating. I really should have just used the drone part here, but I didn't. Wow. All right, whatever.
Yeah, where was that hit before, man? Ouch. Why would I need sensors for this build, ZJ? Oh, you're being sarcastic. I got it. I got it. Keep it dapper. Mick Denoggle, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate these six consecutive months. Much love. Keep it dapper. Baku Bomb, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate these three consecutive months as well. Much love, both of you. Attack Cat, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 37 consecutive months. Okay, this is a pretty monster ship. Definitely the correct hack there. I have no doubt. Yeah, I disable the space bar from pausing. It's the only way to actually... Well, I mean, you, you'd end up pausing on accident, even if you didn't mean to pause by fat fingering the space bar key or something, so I think disabling is the best way to go. Good question. Okay, Ion Stunner actually fits okay into this build, I guess. It could. Very nice. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. No more head scratches. Damn, I'm so tired, Dad. Keep it dapper. Sukanishi, uh, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Double beam drone, four lasers. Okay. Get slam jammed. I don't know. Whole repair might put me below the uh, the drone amount I need to win, though. Like, <laughs> I'd like a whole repair drone, sure, but I'm not sure if that even works out for me. We only play on hard mode. Good God, man. Never not hard. Attack the schlaver scum. Okay, so there's no way I'm going to be able to hack them. They have defense drone and anti-drone drone, but only two shields. Um... And get me to jukes, though. Okay, good, 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 good. Shelton, I will take Shelton. I need crew really bad. Yeah, let's go Zolta Control, even though it is a very nasty sector.
All right, guys, we've been streaming for one hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to take my first short break of the evening, stand up, stretch my legs, get some more water. I encourage you to do all those things as well. We'll return as soon as I can. Thank you to those who do allow ads to play on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you do not, I still very much appreciate your time here. However, if you'd like to support me and my content, and you do any shopping on Amazon.com, you can support with each purchase. All you have to do is bookmark that link right there, lethalfry.com slash alinks.htm, and use that as your entrance to Amazon. It'll be the exact same shopping experience, the exact same prices. Just get support me and the content. It's a win-win for everybody involved. Thanks for your consideration. Be back soon. It's a forbidden soda. Good to see you. All right, we got 250 scrap. Oh, there's a store that is beautiful and amazing, wonderful. Do I risk taking one more jump here? I don't think so. I think we should go to the store. Okay. Okay.
It's a lot of scrap to get that online. Okay. Mmm, it's a tough choice. Okay, we know we're gonna get a lot of scrap this sector. I mean, if we do end up we do end up getting anywhere, we're gonna have plenty of scrap to work with. Keep it down. What I'm gonna do now, since we only have four two crew and we're on no pause, I'm actually gonna buy the mind control. The reason I'm buying mind control here is we're gonna need it pretty badly for phase three of the flagship fight. If I don't have that piece, beating phase three of the flagship fight is probably not gonna happen. External Frost, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 31 consecutive months. Much love. Hi, Winston. You're being pretty cutie up there. The goal here is obviously to get the Burst Laser 1 online as well, but uh, that's not happening right now. We need a lot of scrap. 165 plus power to make that work. We can also mind control their pilot to try to get uh, increased increased hit rate. Intruders on board. Oh my god. Hitting hacking, I'm okay with that for right now. Oh my god, why? gonna board again on a good note to hear that surreal to acknowledge i always try to keep my uh commentary educational glad it's been healthy uh helpful for you okay we didn't die there that's actually a pretty huge accomplishment considering we had what in total eight manas on our ship we only lost one crew i'm gonna bank on getting a repair station in sector eight or two I think that's really the best I can do. Okay, having three crews not the end of the world. It's not great, of course, if your ship takes damage, but it does give me it does give me the perfect amount to hide in the med bay if we do get boarded heavily to do that venting strap. It's definitely one of the worst sector 7 encounters. The only one that's actually worse than that for no pause is the one where you had get boarded by Zoltans the same way. I, do, I don't have the scrap to be able to go back to the store and repair again. I have to bank on getting repair stations in Sector 8 if we're going to win. Okay, we got a second store here. Good. Thanks. Being a cutie. As I was just freaking saying...
Believe it or not, there's actually one worse than that, but <laughs> let's hope we don't run into that one too, huh? Uh, Zedro, I think my record for no pause wins in a stream is three, but that was a long stream and also quite fortunate. I want to go to the store and repair, but I know if I do, I'm, uh, I'm screwing myself. Let's see, two lasers, bomb, halberd beam, I'll engage. Oh boy. The hypothetical encounter is a Zoltan boarding vessel that also has, oh, that also has, um, sorry, a Zoltan boarding vessel that also has borders attached to the event. So you end up getting boarded by uh, six or seven Zoltans. Okay, better. So you get four Zoltans on your ship to start and then two Zoltans uh, board in after that. And then if you're unlucky and they have a clone bay, they board you again so for a total of eight Zoltans. I'm gonna let you go. I could have hired him for 40 scrap, but uh, honestly, three crew is kind of better than four crew in this situation. As crazy as that may seem. Well, GG. It was a good run, all things considered. That we did pretty well there for that being our first snow pause in quite some time. Give me just one second, we'll uh, do it up again. I think we could have won that fight if the uh, defense drone didn't go down. But hey, you live, you learn.
Let's see where we're at our names here. Thank you to those that do support the Patreon. Do appreciate it. Ephemeral. Delbach. Yeah, I think I played well the hand I was dealt, indeed. I mean, we were way behind on offense for too long. All right, give me just one second. We'll start the run. Yeah, buddy. All right, we got going on here. It's a decent exit. We can do better, though. That's a stellar exit. What's up, crows? Okay. We're gonna go like one, two, three, four, five, over and down. Yeah, let's get into that storage cache. Sounds good. Okay, three lasers versus my one laser. That's not great. On a good note, we have the Artemis, so maybe we'll uh, circumvent some damage here. Good jukes, great jukes. Excellent work, crew. Way to fight against the humanitis. Ha! <laughs> nice priest with knives. What's up, Soul Soul? Has been a minute, sir. Hope you've been well. Nice. Should be able to fire again before they cloak. Very lucky not to take damage there. And a shield overcharger worth 30 scrap. This is great, because if I can get to the store in time... Mm. We're gonna count the last runs like they didn't exist, I guess. I got three quarters of the way through the last no pause set. Okay, if I sell the shield overcharger and the Artemis, we could buy a to top tier weapon. Or not. We'll just sell the shield overcharger here and buy our second shield. Done. Okay, after the Artemis fires, I'm going to power my second shield up. Okay, that's not good. Thank you for hitting. I appreciate that. Maybe I can get my shield back online before the solar flare. Ooh, just barely. Just barely. I'd say that's worth. Let me out of here. Hey, into the asteroid field. Okay, combat drone on the asteroid field is not good for me. I'm actually just going to try to rail their, uh, come on game. Their drones here. The, oh my god, why? Why? 
We were doing so well. I should have loaded up the Artemis there to start, I think. Okay, good, 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 good. We might just be okay. Wayside Corpse, little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper, Wayside Corpse. Appreciate the support. And Acratio, little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper as well. Great to see some returning subs. Much love, guys. Much love. <laughs> In most cases, yes, you should target weapons first. If you have the ability to hit through the enemy's shields, you almost always want to hit weapons. Almost always. The Kratios didn't show there. I'm not, not sure what happened. Been in Mongolia? Cool. Well, welcome back, dude. Good to have you again. All right. A very perilous but good start to this run. play different games off stream? No, I don't. Anything you see on stream is what I play off stream if I have any gaming time at all, which is usually not something I have. Get a couple hours in here and there on Black Desert Online on the weekends, but that's really... That's it for my gaming time. Got a family and stuff, you know? What's happening? Valavis, thanks for being here tonight. So, like, pretty much every jump we've taken so far has been super sketchy, but uh, we're surviving somehow. I honestly don't use very many hotkeys for no pause. I find it to muddy my play when I try to use hotkeys, other than, like, hacking and mind control and a couple others. I do feel a pitch. I have a, uh, I have a Lazy Boy recliner, and then behind that, we have a shelf built for the cats to lay on. Indeed it does, Playmaker. Well, I mean, if I wanted to ignore my kid, I could have plenty of time to play games, but... Being being a good dad and being a good husband is pretty, uh, pretty important to happiness for me. They each their own. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot worse. Mm. What's up, Gamma Squad? Do, 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 do. Okay, but here's the thing. Can you hit the ship one time? Honestly, for how nasty, uh, how nasty the ships have been, I'm pretty pleased that we've, we've only taken uh, six hull damage, seven hull damage. Come on, game. There you go, Monkey Tom. That's your free time. 8 to 11 p.m. Please don't. Please don't. Thank you. Hey, thanks, Phoenix. I appreciate that. Yeah. Everything has got to be in good balance. I mean, you can you can have a great career, make a bunch of money, but if your life's out of balance, it's gonna have a hard time being happy. Is what I've found. Balance is good. Ooh, quest marker to the next sector. Nice. Nice. Let's attack the pirate, which is probably a mistake, but a mistake I'm willing to make, because I need that scrap of doodle, son. I need it. 
So we're getting uh, we're getting really low on Artemis missiles here. Okay. Okay. What a run this has been. Oh, that's not even damage, it's just ion damage. Okay. Um, eight missiles though? I'm gonna take this bribe. No, actually, no, I'm not. I want scrap and nothing but scrap. Shout out to the fellow lurkers. Lurkers number one. Always have been, always will be. Long live the lurker. Winston, you're being super cutie patootie tonight. Super cutie. I know. I know. Ah, oh, they jumped away, those jerks. That means the eight missile deal was the better option there. Look at all those lurkers. You're beautiful. Uh, I'll do what I can. Just give me the scrap, and then I'm not going to do the event. So I'm a bad person. Okay, they're powering up through FDL trying to get away. Not good. However, they can't hit me. That is good. So in hard, one of the only differences in hard mode um, is that they will charge their FTL much, much, much faster in hard mode. I mean a lot faster. Keep it. Perot, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper Perot. Do appreciate it, man. Much love to you. All right, hopefully we hit here. Yes. No running aways for you. Let's get Fellwalker healed up here. Okay, combat drone's the least of my concerns here. The uh, missile launcher, much bigger concern. Down to six missiles. Okay, this, this sector has been awesome for scrap. I mean, really good. Uh, we got that shield overcharger for the extra 30. We've already bought in second shields and a power bar, I believe. So we're sitting at about 150, close to 200 scrap this sector. But, still scary. You can post it here, Wayside. You're good. No, thank you, Perone. Thank you. O2 system. I don't need an O2 upgrade right now. Sorry, guys. Good deal. Okay, this one we're going to have to go NG controlled. I want to see stores. Uh, we definitely took some more risks taking Red Sector's last run, and it really did not pay off for us. Great exit location, too. I'm going to buy one power bar so we can have engines online, too. That is pretty cute, Wayside. Destroy and loot the pirates. They're just pirates. They're just pirates. Owen 27 is for the amount of no pause ships completed so far on this round of no pause. All right. Well, I sure would like to see some weapons and stuff. Damn. Hopefully this is not the Manus War Camp. Otherwise, it's kind of a dead jump for us. Oh, we have a missile weapon. Never mind. I thought it was firebomb only, but I guess missile weapon works. You find the Manus of Kama, there are far too many of them to count accurately. Boom. Well, you'll see me do a lot of crazy stuff in no pause. I would not recommend during pause strats, but... Uh, no pause will give you a good idea of some of the stuff that can go wrong in this game, for sure.
Boom, boom, boom. I could use the ship as a training ship, but uh, I'm going to wait for a better ship, I think. Right? This is going to be... Please be good. Hey, nice. Hidden Federation space dock. Uh, I unbind the pause key for O, so I'm actually physically incapable of pausing. Otherwise, I would certainly make the mistake and pause on accident. Certainly. Hey, why you gotta have mind control, man? This would have been a great training ship. Do, 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 do. Boom, boom. That's fine. Um, no surrender for you. Yeah, repair that stuff you broke, you dirty human. We put them all in the med bay. The person that gets mind control does not receive the med bay benefits. Therefore, the two people in the med bay will punch him to death. Not a nice way to die. Um, Kinsius, yes. Uh, you'll notice if you have a weapon that's like back here on the ship and one that's up here, the ones that fire from this projectile will actually hit first. Good question. Good day, Res of Sound. Uh, let's go. Hey! Well, I'm gonna assume this is three jumps, and if it's not, I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Mind control is an advanced edition, but it's not limited to hard mode. Okay, nice. Nice. So this is the best one two combo in the game. We're gonna go ahead and buy our the six fuel here, and I, th well, maybe I shouldn't sell the Artemis yet. Good find though, for sure. Great find. Unfortunate we had to buy it, but still, it's sixty-five scrap. Uh, probably one of the best weapons you can get for the price point of 65 versus the 80 of the burst laser 2 I think they're about equal Sure I'll give you 5 missiles upgraded reactor by 1 nice Go ahead and buy our third engine then Zoltan Homeworlds we have to go to because we could get the Zoltan uh, shield yeah, I, I agree. The Artemis could still have a lot of very good uses here. Okay, Zoltan Homeworlds and Zoltan Seconds are known for having really crappy layouts. This one's actually pretty good. The exit's in the far right. So we can go like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then hook around this way, back up and down if we need to. <laughs> Try to talk your way in. You overhear one group discussing a newly discovered planet yet to have first contact and no down its location. All right. Cool, it's on our way too. How nice.
Okay, the Zoltan Shield, your ugly face, is an augment that you can get for uh, the Zoltan Homeworld quest. It gives you a five damage buffer, just like the Zoltan ships, uh, at the start of each fight. Oh, thank God for taking that missile launcher down. Uh, this tastes like Jin Mai Cha, I think. Basically, the Zoltan Shield allows you a lot more freedoms defensively to upgrade your ship's weapons and stuff. You can get away with having two shields for about Sector 6 if you have the Zoltan, uh, the Zoltan Shield. Mm -hmm. Drink a lot of Dragon Well, uh, Jasmine Yin Hao, Jin Mai Cha, and uh, whatever else. I like tea a lot. Well, you can hypothesize about what ship's going to be the easiest or hardest, but it really comes down to what you get on your, in your stores and in your drops. Flak does not use an ammo type, no. Good question. Hack that O2. I have not, Eleanor. I didn't even know that was a thing. I shouldn't start drinking tea till about last year. Boom, boom, boom. Do, 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 do. What's happening, Bunny Wild? Yeah, no kidding, Phoenix. Yeah, the uh, last time we did a set of no pause runs, one of the easier ships, the Crystal A, took me the longest. Keep it Cruz, dapper. little hand to you, or Kraus, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper Kraus. Appreciate the support. Much love, dude. Much love. Okay, that worked out pretty awesome. Let's uh, let's hit this quest first, then the store, then we can come down. Uh, maybe not. Well, thank you, Kraus. Is that a welcome back? I feel like it is. My favorite ship is the Manus B for the four-man teleporter, which is a nightmare on no pause, but still very fun to do. Store first or quest first? Quest first. Surprise a Zoltan ship facing off against a rebel assault craft. You tap the frequency and hear the rebel captain yelling, We are liberating this planet in the name of the new galactic government. These aliens will not be left in ignorance where they cannot be of use. Let's protect the aliens' way of life. Hey, nice. Look, a training ship. Get out of here. I do not have any torso tattoos, no, Mogan. Got two sleeves, I have a full side piece. Some other randos. All right, well, we got a opportunity to train up here. And I'm gonna take it, because we're in sector three. And we certainly could use it. All right, guys, well, while we're training, we're gonna play a couple rounds of Creature from the Black Lagoon Pinball, and I could certainly use a break from FDL. I'm starting to feel the stress level arising. So see you guys on the other side. We'll play like two games of Creature and then we'll come back uh, fully trained and ready to go.
Well, Narwazi, you're not required to train, but if you're doing a no pause, uh, no pause run, you're gonna end up training. Yeah, the issue with the machine is a piece just came loose. Um, if I can hold the ball here, I'll explain. Underneath this wireframe, there's a cup that holds the ball. So when it goes in the it goes in the snack bar, it rolls down here, and then it lands on this little plate that gets pushes it up. That plate fell off the plunger into the cabinet, which is why we heard the ball hit the cabinet. There was nothing there to hold the ball, so it just rolled through. Just had to glue it back on there. Yeah, Ryan Sox, we built a PC specifically for doing this uh, gaming to pinball transition. <laughs> yeah, okay, one more. Do 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 do. All right, buddy. Oh, there it is. There's the shot. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Yeah. Okay. One more. Do do do. All right, buddy. Oh, move your car. Move your damn car. Ah, uh. <laughs> the flailing. Not my highest scoring move your car award value, but that's okay. Ooh, I had a good read on that ball, it just wasn't wasn't quite there. Alright, that's my second nudge. I got no more no more nudges left. Not this ball. Easy 19 four. Nice. Been working on that shot. Oh, no sign of me here. There we go. There she is. Okay, we can still get this back. Come on down. Come on down. There we go.
why would I sh take that shot? There was no... There was no point in taking that shot. Okay. Oh! Okay. Still really nice. We got a jackpot. We were pretty close to super jackpot there. Could have been better. Could have been a lot worse. Still at 146 mil ball one. The speed on that ball was intense. Man, had that coming. Come on. Give it back. Now that we've hit jackpot, it gets a lot harder to... The snack bar targets have to be hit manually each time, which is rough. That's okay. Yeah, I shouldn't have nudged there. I knew it as soon as I did it. But oh well. You live, you learn. Back out there, then. Kisses. All right, we got multi ball back. That's sweet. Yeah, but here's the thing, game. We both know that Mega Menu is a giant, dirty tarp. Uh, Kujio, I have 15 inserts left to sand, and then it's basically ready for clear. So it's about 95% the way there. But let me get control over the balls here one time. No sign of them here. Nice. Much better than the last rounds, huh? No nudges left. That was double warning. Shit. Stepping away. Wow, 
Oh, you gave it back? What a generous machine. I had to be at the extreme end of the uh, grace period. Stick him up, peepin' Tom. Failed the video mode. Shame. I can't hear you. Hey, buddy, move your car. Move Move it. Superhero cape. We got there. Hot dog in a superhero cape. Stop the violence. I believe we can stack this with the multi ball, and we just did. Super scoring still active. fun. Oh, uh, yeah, the balls definitely get scratched up and stuff. You want to switch out the pinballs every couple months for that reason. I mean, uh, there definitely is metal on metal contact. In some cases, like when I was shooting the snack bar, we're hitting that metal scoop with the uh, with the ball. So I swap them out every couple months. Like a little scratch on the the pinball is not that big of a deal, but if you get like an actual gouge in the pinball, it can be a pretty major problem. What's up, Master Senpai? Oh, don't, don't, no nudges, no nudges. Ah, 
I wanted to nudge there, but I uh, caught myself. So what I'm going to try to do is shoot up the center ramp. Each time we hit the pop bummers in the back, it'll change which snack bar targets are lit. So I'm trying to get, like, popcorn or the hot dog lit so we can get a uh, better percentage shot. Well, the big deal if the ball gets a gouge in it is when it rolls over the play field, it can rip up the play field, slowly but surely. What a round it's been. Don't jump the fence. Still on ice cream? Come on, game. Have some mercy. Move your car, though. What? I disagree. I disagree. Let's give me one good multi ball chance here. There we go. There we go. should be our last multi-ball opportunity. We've gotten two jackpots so far this game. I mean, anything's possible here. Maybe not likely, but possible. Issues. Thank you for keeping a dab. We appreciate the four consecutive months. Little flipper to you, man. Much love. We definitely won't be doing a second game after this because this round went on a lot longer than I thought it would. Well, Master Senpai, he tried to sneak into the drive-in theater. That's how he got in there. Not sure how many kisses that is, but enough. Uh, this machine is from 1992, produced by Bally Pinball Company. It's an oldie, but a goodie. Awesome. Thank you for keeping a tap. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. Thank you. Enjoy the 
Not sure why I took that shot, but I did. That's a rip. Okay, so what happened there was I got the effing film uh, snack bar award, and that robbed me of my extra ball for six kisses. I got robbed. That was a really good round. 590 million is nothing to be sad about on this machine. We got three multi balls there. Pretty solid. All right, I'll see you guys back on FTL. Yeah, 1.1 billion's right. Cool, we got shield training too, which isn't really important right now, but we could swap that over later if we need to. You never actually beat a pinball machine, Bob. You can get a new high score, but there's no way to officially beat a game. Black Gun Mark 1. Okay, we got ourselves a burner here. We do have the store. What are we going to sell at the store? The Beam Drone. And the Artemis to try to get that flat cannon online. Sell the beam drone, sell the Artemis missile. It's, well, it's only 125 to get that online, so... Do I risk not? I'm gonna buy two fuel here. And we're going to hope for 10 scrap on the next jump. Maybe I should stay up in this vein to maximize jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six should be appropriate. I don't have time for this nonsense attack. Ooh. Nasty. I may actually take a pike beam damage here, and this ship's actually pretty susceptible to pike beams. All I gotta do is dodge one of those two missiles and we're okay. Oh, never mind. It timed out the way I wanted. Okay, we're good. Okay, as risky as this is right now, this gives me basically the wombo combo for offense. So we're going to invest into this and then we can catch up on defense later. So I put the I put the burst laser in front, which is not the ideal position for protecting it, but uh 
It gives me my two flags on the front of the ship, so those will hit uh, at the right timing. Glad you enjoyed it, Fraxis. Oh, yeah. An unarmed Zoltan transport vessel is slowly making its way towards the beacon here. They hail. This is the Zoltan Peace Envoy. We carry no weapons or shielding and rely on the mercy of others to communicate our message. I'm going to hear these guys out. They continue. We take your science for interested contemplation. They talk at length about peace and harmony, but it's either beyond your simple mind or it's all nonsense. Okay, so in the next sector, our quest marker is going to be the Zoltan Homeworld event. We could very well get Zoltan shielding from this. The Zoltan quest is even better for uh, this purpose, and the reason for that being is you can you can avoid getting boarded right away by a lot of ships. So as you can see, our offense is very adequate for where we're at right now. And this little kitty behind me is so cutie patootie. Dekar56, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate these seven consecutive months, dude. Much love. Much love. Yeah, uh, Shivan, so this, this ship right here is the worst ship for the flat cannon because it has these small, tiny 2x2 two two rooms or 1x1 one one rooms. So this is the worst ship for the flat cannon. But, like, the four square rooms have a much higher percentage chance of hitting for sure. Five missiles, and two drone parts, ten scrap, no sir. Offer me six fuel and I'll consider. Better luck next time, pirate interceptor. I really don't think this is two jumps, and uh, I don't want to risk losing my awesome run on greed. Okay, nasty ship. I think our volley will be able to take him out, especially if they keep it hit by asteroids there. Keep it dapper. There we go. Okay, we took a whole damage. That's okay. Fred Freddington, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 20 consecutive months. Much love. Appreciate you. You know, Ion Blast isn't actually a bad weapon uh, for that system. But my next 100 scraps going to go directly into getting three shields. Wish I could. Pirate controlled. Come on, slavers. Uh, Domino5, that's somewhat incorrect. Uh, if you set a stream delay on your stream, you you have to start at one minute or less. Or one minute or more. It goes from one to ten minutes of stream delay. You don't actually get to set the delay by seconds. I use whatever the base delay is, generally seven to twelve seconds. Okay, we must make it up to this quest. I want to hit the store, we got to make it up to this quest, because that will let me know if I'm getting Zoltan shields or not. Distress Beacon is coming from a civilian ship. It appears being chased by pirates. Uh, I don't think improved weapons here is actually good. I think it actually removes the chance for double reward. Nice coup de gras. That's great to hear, dude. Okay. Weapons must get uh, reamed here. Like I got to. Hey, 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 hey. No need for that. Okay, good. The missile launcher went down. Stellar. Okay, in this case, we can actually uh, cheese this out real quick. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, they ran away. Still, still good, though. So the best part about this run that's happened so far is we've taken very little hull damage. Uh, the real place we fell behind on the previous run is that we... We had to spend so much scrap on repairs that it set us behind on everything else. Okay. So, like, disabling shields here seems like the uh, good choice, but going for weapons is almost always better. If they can't fire at you, they can't hurt you. Nope. Nope. Get erased. Doing great, a goat named Felicia. How are you? I'm going to reject your offer, because I know I can absolutely melt your weapon system. Yeah, delay on stream has a lot of different uh, factors into it. Depends on when you stream, how many people are streaming, server load, things of that nature. There's the whole open chat blur that happened last December. I don't think I had anything to do with missing it. I just thought it was time to make the... Hold on! No! Why? Time to make the change. That's unfortunate. Come on, Zoltan Shield. Give me Zoltan Shield one time, game. One time. Attempt to hail him. They open communications. I can't imagine there's anything you can say that will save you. The Rebellion must destroy those that are still loyal to the Obsolete Federation. Perhaps there could be a reconciliation of our ideals without war. True progress can only be achieved without bloodshed. Augment Zoltan Shield. So, this has multiple benefits. At the start of each fight, we get a 5 damage buffer. We cannot be boarded or mind controlled until that, uh, that shield is gone. And there's a store right there. Awesome. It ain't GG, but it's definitely nice. It helps a lot. We have much less concern of our weapons getting hit now before they fire. Yep, yeah, there's the tank to go with the spank indeed. It's still going to be best uh, best for me to get my third shield sooner rather than later, but um, yeah, that opens up a lot of good options. The preemptive GG is supposed to be coming from people that have actually never played on no pause, indeed. Uh, I gotta say this run's looking pretty good, but uh, you do not... You don't preemptive GG on hard mode. Hard mode, no pause. The run's looking well. We're still low on crew. I need several system upgrades. And there are certain events where we can still get boarded even through the Zoltan Shield. Search for the ship. Five damage to the hull. Ouch, Aroni. 
Enjoy your lurk. It's the only great one. Enjoy it. Doing great, Cutter. How are you today, sir? Goat name Felicia. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper. Goat name Felicia. Do appreciate it. Much love. Okay, good. Shield Overcharger Drone is actually not as good as you think it'll be with the Zoltan Shield. It can synergize well in some cases with certain builds, but this early on, definitely not. Because it costs three power to get on, so we'd have to buy Drone Control, have Shield Overcharger, and then have three power to power the drone. My thought is in most cases, it'd just be better to spend that power elsewhere. Okay, we know our weapons are set up for right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buy my third shield like I said I was going to. So we at least have the option to power it. Sounds good, Cutter. Sit back, relax, enjoy, dude. Diving is more viable with a Zoltan shield, certainly. But it's really a matter of how many jumps I can get out of diving. Yeah, shield overcharger certainly has its uses, but uh, I don't think this run would be one of them. I'd much rather just get, like, cloaking or something. I don't know, guys. Do I make that? I feel like I do make that. What do you guys think? If I jump here, am I going to get here? Feels like yes. Oh, I left my tea on the desk. Son of a biscuit. Mixed results in the chat. I'm gonna take the risk. Oh boy. So this ship right here, oh never mind. If they didn't have two beam drones, this would be a perfect use for the Zoltan Shield to stop that missile. But unless we have a mega whiff here, I mean we should get the weapons down. There we go. Ha! <laughs> nice, nice quote. Thanks. Keep it. Corin 101, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 28 consecutive months. Much love. Just need two more flak and a defense drone. There you go. What is the flagship like on no pause? Pretty terrifying. Liquid Bible, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the nine consecutive months. Phase three of the flagship is the real, the real terror of no pause FTL. Hey, we made it. Do, do, do. Um, I'll do five for ten. Engine controlled sounds good. Okay, there's a store. How many jumps can we make before having to go to the store? Does that connect down? So we can get like one, two, three, four, five. 
Let's do it. Secure the cash. Defense drone mark one. Well, that makes it a pretty easy decision. Zoldan's shield does not block ASB, no. Five missiles and one, two drone parts for a reactor upgrade. Sure. Okay, that didn't give me fuel, so I have to take this jump and go down then. Yeah. This is looking like a dive sector. Nice. No, you're fine, Ultimate Cyrus. I have no strict rules against backseat gaming or spoiling. I just ask that you communicate respectfully and don't order me around. But what you said was perfectly fine. I think open game discussion provides the best medium for the people watching the stream to, uh, to learn. I think that's what a lot of us are here for. You're welcome to talk about the game or suggest something or point something out that I missed. It's all good. Whoa, my humanitis almost died, man. Five fuel? I will take that deal. <laughs> How timely. Let's get to that storage cache. Let's do it. All right, we're definitely going to want to try to get this burst laser down. Good miss. I'm actually going to go for piloting here so that I know my next volley will hit with the full force. Now, they're going to cloak before that happens, so... Wow, the jukes. It's beautiful. Oh, come on. Nice, we juked all the missiles. All of them. All of them. Well, thank you, Rob Lop. I appreciate it. It's your first stream, Clayton. Well, thank you for being here. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna go down to the exit and then come back up this way and hook back down is the plan. Keep Dispatcher X, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 23 consecutive months. Much love. Much love. Yes, I will buy six fuel for 12 scraps. That is a spectacular deal right now. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, to increase juking, you level up engines, uh, goat named Felicia. Okay, long range scanners, instant buy. We're gonna sell the system repair drone, buy. Buy drone control, sell the second system repair drone, and load up the defense drone. You know, actually, system repair is not a bad thing to have in, uh, in this situation. That's okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting there, Ashley. Okay, one, two, three, exit. Done. Definitely not one, two. If this one connected to the exit, I'd try to go one, two, three, four, but this is safer. What's up, Gore Step? <laughs> fair enough, Ugh, fair enough. Oh, savage.
I'm gonna buy the NG for 37 here. Anti-personnel is okay, but I, I've never actually used it in no pause, no. Man, you know, buying a crew over here is actually pretty tempting. That NG is good. I'm gonna buy the NG for 37 here. Three crews not gonna cut it for the flagship fight. Respond to the call, move in and assist. The human was mega cheap too, but the NG opens up a lot of blue options for distress beacons. What happened to Black Desert Online? Unfortunately, developers pulled the game and it got taken off the internet and nobody could ever play it again. It's really unfortunate. Woo, that's a ship. Gorstep, little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper Gorstep. Appreciate your support, dude. Much love. Okay, we might be all right to get away here. Guys, that's what I call extreme sarcasm. I'm sorry to those that took me seriously. That was extreme sarcasm. There were too many people playing in the desert and knew what to do with all that money, so they said, fuck it, we'll just shut it down. Hallerith, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the 27 consecutive months. Now, Black Desert Online's doing really well. They're making money hand over fist. It's great. Game's gonna be around for a long time. Alright. I can't be mind controlled in here. Holy weapons, though. Nice die last. I'm excited to play. Okay, we got double stores here. Is it worth going to the stores right now? I guess is my real question. What can I get at stores that'll be worth it? What can I get at stores that'd be worth it right now? I already have long range scanners. I did, Lamaz. I'm sorry, dude. But Laws, thank you for keeping a tab. I appreciate the one year of support. Much love. Artax001, thank you for the 10 consecutive months. Much love as well. Yeah, hull repair. Okay, that's that's what we're looking at here. Thank you. That's definitely it. That's definitely what we're looking for. Ooh, hacking's really good too. I mean, hacking would synergize extremely well. Reigniter, I don't think I'd buy. Okay. Reloader, that's a good call too. Nope, not what we need. Ooh, man, that Breach 2 is a sexy weapon, though. Alright. Fair enough. What's this two-shield ship doing in Sector 6? Trying to board me, that's what they're doing. Thank you. 
Yeah, here's the deal with crew. The sweet spot for a crew on a no pause runs about five. If you have any more than that, it becomes extremely hard to manage that many people without pausing. The only problem with selling the Ion to buy the Breach 2 right here is I need another 190 scrap plus power to get the weapon online. That's a tough, tough purchase. Why do you only repair it about 75% whole? That's a great question because there are many, uh, there are many whole repairing events in this game. So if you repair it a full every time, then you get a whole repairing event. You've wasted scrap. So a lot of things will give somewhere between 5 and 15 hull repair. So we try to uh, min-max that. Nice. Zoltan shield's still up so they can't board. Also, Manus Bomber is, uh, generally speaking, a pretty terrifying vessel. So Zoltan shield helps out a lot here. That shit was just trying to board to ask for some sugar. Why'd you have to kill him? Alright, we're definitely gonna go up, not down here. We're gonna go up and over and then down. Yes, you also receive a 10 hole repair upon reaching Sector 7. That is true. Okay, I'm liking this. Do, 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 do. So the absolute maximum I'll use a repair for is going to be uh, five, or with five left. Yes, let's fight in the med bay though, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I was going to say, please take that missile launcher down. Thank you. Thank you. They obviously have an NG repairing in there. Why not auto-fire with no pause? Because my weapons would desync after the first volley, and I would lose out. The only time you can actually uh, auto-fire and no pause is if you have three of the same, or three or four of the exact same weapon. Punkzer, the rabbit, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the three consecutive months. Much love. Generally speaking, Mark Magis, they will teleport to the same place they teleported the first time. Or if you have an eye on two, that'd be a good time to use auto fire and no pause for sure. Is the Vulcan ever worth it? In my opinion, no. I think Vulcan's pretty low tier weapon. Some may disagree. But I think in hard mode, it's extremely hard to get a viable Vulcan run. It's not 100% uh, Mark Magis, but I've definitely, uh, I've definitely noticed. Anarian, thank you for keeping a damper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Much love, dude. Uh, it's a website, Ultimate Sacrifice. Uses Twitch's API. Uh, Twitch alerts, I believe. What? What? Okay. How about we don't and say we did? Please kill them. They were uh, trying to get away from the beginning there. I missed that. I really need to pay more attention to that. Okay, we're at 248 scrap right now. I'm going to buy my fourth engine here. The more dodge you have with the Zoltan Shield, the better, because the higher odds of your Zoltan Shield staying online longer. Yeah, I think that might be the one where you can chase him, for sure. Yeah, attack that ship. This has been a really spectacular run for... Uh, for scrap. Thank you. 
Nice. That's what we needed. Um, when am I powering the drone? If my Zoltan shield is down and I have the chance of getting hit by a missile. That is when I'll do it. Sure thing, Gorgonus. You can also find the Amazon link below the broadcast or by doing x Amazon at any time in the chat. Thank you so much for using that Amazon affiliate. It is a huge help and one of the main reasons I'm able to do this full time. Appreciate it. I don't know, man. Diving here is pretty tempting with the Zoltan shield. Let's go here first and then decide if we want to dive. I think I can take their weapons out. Hull beam is a really good weapon. It's just not good in no pause. Beam weapons really suffer in no pause runs. Like big time. Awesome, Wildland Firefighter. That's a huge help, dude. I can't, I, I mean, it's basically the only thing I promote on stream is the Amazon affiliate. Uh, I don't solicit donations or do all the other money making things I could do. So I really appreciate when you guys use that because it is uh, quite simply the best way to support the content. If you do any shopping on Amazon, it's really a slam dunk. It's free for you to use and it benefits me. It's legit. So if you can only do one thing to support me and my content, do that. I do love when they teleport back, and I needed that too because it was getting pretty hairy there. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna dive here. No, no diving. Oh, of course it was a dirty tarp. Damn pirates. That is a really awful deal for Sector 6. Uh, Worm Syrup, you can see the whole fees breakdown of uh, the percentages that affiliates get, such as myself. But anything, basically anything you buy is going to support the content, and books are definitely up there. You can even do Kindle books or Amazon Prime Video, stuff like that. Anything included on the Amazon.com site is available to use in the affiliate. Let's see. I'm guessing non-electronic books would probably fall under, like, the... I don't know. All I can tell you is, it'll help. There was, like, a magazine category before, so I guess that's what it'd probably be. I think it was 10%? 8 they change around the fees all the time, and honestly, I don't look at what people buy or anything like that. I mean, I can see what people have bought. I couldn't tell who bought something, but I don't even look at that. I just appreciate that you guys use the service. Ideal weapon setup is four burst laser twos, but this is pretty close. How is your FTL still charging? Oh, right, because you couldn't... Couldn't teleport over. No surrender, sir. None. Let's go rock control. Okay, I got 354 scrap right now. That's a lot. Keep it dapper. EVX, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 12 consecutive months. Much love. Much love. Do 
I always play aggressive? I would say no. I play however I feel. I'm going to get my best chance at winning. Okay, we haven't bought cloaking yet, or mind control, or hacking. But I think uh, right now we could buy... We'll buy a weapon power. This protects our burst laser to flax uh, difference. The reason I haven't bought in four shields right now, or bought four shields right now, is because I have the Zoltan shield, which is basically working as my force shield. I'd actually kind of rather in this situation get uh, cloaking rather than a force shield. Whoa, okay. Yeah, the rock music always reminds me of the, uh, the little, not starting area, one of the first towns you get to in Final Fantasy VII, that track. Well played, Blue Jello. Well played. No. No surrender. Ooh, tempting. I think over here is better-ish. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Back up and around. Uh, <laughs> my store is probably up here, though. I can only hope. Cool, Artax. Okay, burst laser two, burst laser three. No, burst one, burst two. Other way around. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do versus this ship. We're gonna flack their cloaking and then hit the weapons. There we go, we're relatively safe here. The missile still could hit us if our defense drone fails at its job, which we hope it doesn't. Okay, that sucks a lemon. Okay, that should be fine. Uh, you can toggle auto fire by pressing down con left control. Wow, I mean, five fuel, five missiles, 66 scrap, and an ion blast. I mean, I can't imagine we're going to get more than that. Hey, there's my store. Do I take a few more jumps before hitting this, though? No, we can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like eight, nine, ten, eleven. That was an offer. An offer I can't refuse. Well, hull repair and cloaking definitely, uh, definitely gets me where I want to be. That's pretty good. Spectacular store. Keep it. Risk it, fold a biscuit. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 11 consecutive months. Much love. Nebula sectors are not technically more rewarding, but they, you will get more jumps out of a nebula sector in general. There's a higher chance for dead jumps, so if you have a long-range scanner augment, it's definitely beneficial to go to uh, go through that. That's a big old missile launcher. A big old boy.
Okay. That's good. They're gonna cloak again. Uh, here's how this works, though. If I leave my weapons fully charged here, it works out pretty good. So we get to fire twice now in one volley. And as you can see, they have four shields, so this could be a somewhat extended fight. I'm going to load up the defense drone here. Oof. Oh, killing him slowly but surely, I guess. Hostile ships can and will run out of rockets, yes. Okay, my defense drone went down. That sucks. This is a really uh, more extended fight than I'd hoped for. Looks like they're out of missiles now. Maybe not out of missiles, I don't know. Where'd they come in? Okay, they're in the O2 right now. Does the number of missiles the enemy fires affect how many missiles you get at the end? I don't think so, Jamie Allegro. I'm pretty sure that doesn't affect anything. Don't quote me on that, but I have not noticed any major difference. I don't eat very much dairy, uh, Oshi Dash, but she is a very versatile ingredient. I definitely don't turn my nose up to any food combinations. I'm willing to try anything once. For all I know, it's going to be delicious. That was a very, uh, very long fight indeed. But we can't emerge victorious with only a few hole damage. Of course there's another store right after I spend scrap. Why wouldn't there be? Alright, I'll, I'll bite here. Okay, automated reloader here is top tier. Oh my god. Man, I wish I wouldn't have bought that power before this jump. I could have had it all. All right, we'll get enough scrap to get that online. Uh, I'm gonna buy this and then sell this. Hey, look, we can have everything. Keep it dapper. Okay, so main goal here is just get that burst laser two online. Bebop Zabatsu, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the nine consecutive months. Much love. 
Appreciate you. The whole repair drones really what rounds us out so well. Got a pretty great chance of winning here. We'll see. A lot of stuff can go wrong in no pause. What I'm looking for here is the scrap to get this burst laser two online, this sector, and then we can worry about the, uh, oh, get out of here with that. Worry about the peripherals later. The only better weapon setup than this is four burst laser twos. That's it. What's your offer? As long as I don't kill them all? Okay. I can try. <laughs> Back to your stations, lazy crew. Alright, so this ship will give us a guaranteed weapon. Whether we can sell it or not, we'll see. I could also not keep my word and just destroy the ship, but they don't like that. Oh, my sweet dear god. Asteroid field, sun. What? It's not even an improvement right now, so uh, we're going to pass on that. But I'd like to sell it if I could. I gotta save the cloak for the, uh, the flak there. Most certainly. Whoa. Oh, the failure there. My bad. All right, sweet. The flat cannon's down. We're in the in the clear here. I mean, I guess if I got one more flat cannon, I would go all flak, but uh, without the four, four, no way. I would say odds of winning this one, no pause, are in the 80 to 85 percent range right now. I, if you have not done a no pause flagship fight, you just you just don't know. It's it's sketchy, at best. Uh, hey, Billy Mayshear, I don't play FTL fast, so I don't think that'd be the correct category for me. I love playing FTL, and I'm glad you enjoy my commentary, but I am by no means a speedrunner. Okay. Okay. Wow, the whiffs. Yeah, I really shouldn't have cloaked there, but I did. Okay, I gotta wait for them to cloak now. 
Solar Flare imminent. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, man, sometimes discretion is the better part of valor. We have a good run going. Yes, I will take that deal. And if I lost this run off of my own, uh, keep it dapper. My own hubris there, no good. Vapid Squid, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 35 consecutive months. One month away from that subscriber hall of fame. Thank you, sir, much love. Much love. No! Well, I fucked, fudged that up. That sucks. Who's our next train pilot? <laughs> I guess you're on it, kid. Actually, that has some uh, good implications for no pause. It's actually not the worst thing that could have happened because now we have, we can put three people in the, uh, in the med bay, which is good. Definitely sketchy, but definitely possible to win. Okay, we got triple repair station here too. This is good. We have a lot of drone parts to work with, so as long as we don't get completely destroyed on one phase of the flagship, we should be okay. So it should be very quick phases, as in fact, we could, uh, we could destroy the enemy flagship phase three before they can mind control me. And board the hell out of me. Okay, so we're gonna buy our last weapon power here. Then we're gonna buy level 202, level two cloaking, and I don't think level two doors are in the books, which is terrifying. But okay. I might as well do this fight to try to get a few extra scrap. Phase three is gonna be the sketchy one. I think level two doors and another power bar would be my best purchase here. As long as I can keep my crew alive long enough, we're gonna be okay. I can feel my my ship back up to full about three times with my current build. Three crew is pretty sketchy though. Yes, level two pilot would actually make more sense right now than level... Uh, Level two doors, I think. Draken, 1005. Thank you for keeping it down. I appreciate the 12 consecutive months. Much love. Level two piloting value points and doors. Thank you for the 12 consecutive months, Draken. Greatly appreciated. Give me just one sec, guys, and we'll do this flagship fight. This is sketchy.
All right. So we can probably kill the flagship in three volleys here. If we hit correctly. The main problem with this build right now is 30% dodge and three crew. Um, Corganus, as long as you enter through that link, you should be good. You should be good. Okay, do I have the automated reloader? I do. Okay, automated reloader means that I'll be able to fire twice after their cloaking phase, so I can try to disable their cloaking after the the first hit on their shields. Whoops. I thought I was at the base. I wasn't. Okay, that wasn't exactly ideal, but we can still get the second flak off and the second burst laser, I believe. Okay, sweet. We took their cloaking down. That's really good. Okay, they got their they got their cloak in. That's fine. That's fine. Really successful phase one. Oh yeah, sort of the stars of hit runs are crazy. I think my first win on that game took uh, 27 hours. What's up, Mr. Love? Good to see you, sir. Okay, that went well. Okay, so we're gonna use the exact same trick we always do. On phase two here, we're gonna make them jump into us. We're going to have a critical moment in phase three where I have to decide whether we're staying or jumping away with their crew. Uh, if I have to open my doors to vent Faunix, that breach could cause some problems is why I fixed it. Come on, did that just happen? Making them jump to me means that we'll be able to, um... Holy crap, they're in my shields. Okay, we're gonna live here. Ha, <laughs> barely. We're good. We're good. So phase three, uh, by letting them jump into me, I jump into them for phase three, and then uh, if they do board me too heavily where I can't recover, I can jump back to the base, vent my ship, and uh, be all right. I'm actually going to buy level two medbay here, because if my medbay gets disabled during phase three, uh, we could have a really, really bad time. Also gotta hope we do good damage to their uh, <laughs> their ship on the first part of the phase. Oh, there's a lot of ways I can lose this run. 
Trust me, I've done enough no pause runs to know. Oops. Okay, that went really good. Okay, out of the people that could have been mind control, that's probably the best. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think we're sticking this out. Oh, they missed weapons. G G. Woo. G, G, we got there. Update that title. We got one done. I don't know if I should do the ships in order, but I think I'm gonna do the Kestrels in order at least. Let's see what we got for a score there. 4966, not the highest scoring run, but still very good. All right, guys, it is time for me to take my food break. We take one food break a night. I'm going to go eat myself a burrito. And uh, when I return, we'll try out the Kestrel B. That was a good run. It had some problems, but the offense came together. Really good. So I'm going to run ads during this break. If you have ads to play on my channel, I really do appreciate it. If you do not, I still very much appreciate your time here. However, if you'd like to support me and my content uh, further, please consider bookmarking the Amazon affiliate page. If you do any shopping on Amazon.com, you can support me and my content with each purchase at no additional cost to you. The simple and free way to support the content. It's a win-win for everybody. Thanks for your consideration. Be back shortly.
Right. What should we name our fine vessel? The Kestrel B. Let's see, we're at our names here. We ended on Bellwalker. Bamba Jamba. Whoops. We got Love Wizard. We got Bunny Wild. Tasty Slow Cooker. The Love Boat will do it. Okay, so this ship has a pretty slamming start. What it doesn't have is a weapon system that's really viable past uh, Sector 3. So you're always going to be a bit behind on your weapon system on this unless you find stuff to synergize. But in Sector 1 and 2, you're absolute monster. One, two, three, maybe four, five. Doo -doo, doo -doo. I'm gonna reject your offer.
So I won't go to you saying that does sound good. So the nice part about basic lasers is they fire at 10 seconds, which is faster than most other weapons in the game. So you have pretty much guaranteed you're going to hit something with your first volley. It's overall a very good starting ship, though. The, the real problem is the these basic lasers don't really fit into other weapon systems. So you basically have to replace all of your weapons by sector three or so. We'll see. Do, 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 do. Not a huge meatloaf fan myself, uh, Nargisa, but I will say the bacon wrap stuff meatloaf we made for the, uh, uh, they're gonna say I can't do it. Ah, uh, why? Do, do, do. Okay, we're going to have to go one, two, three, four. Or one, two, three. Hope this is a scrap bearing jump. Lockdannon, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper. Lockdannon, appreciate the support, man. Okay, this is going to suck. We're definitely getting hit here. Go twos down. That could have been a lot worse. No, I'm good on that. Keep it oh, hey, they got a weapon online. Shame on me. Permit TV, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the five consecutive months. Much love, dude. To the store. The win was Kestrel A, said Victor. That is definitely not the store we were looking for. Can I go one, two, and make it over in time? I don't know. Is this two jumps? It doesn't look like it. It could be. Oh, this connects over, so we can go one, two, three. Like, I'd love to buy the heavy laser, but uh, spending my first 50 scrap on a heavy laser is a really bad idea. Attack the pirates. If I could afford the first laser too, that would have been great, yeah, for sure. But uh, we couldn't. The problem with selling basic laser to get heavy is that it makes it so I can't get my second shield early. And it doesn't really improve my offense that much right now. Hello, Wayside Corpse. Welcome back, dude. We have a hot water spigot that I use for tea. We don't, uh, we do have electric tea kettle too, but haven't used it very much. Tafunksta, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the dapper, Tafunksta. Appreciate it, dude. Much love. So now we're going to buy our second shield. That's cool. 
So the manually search event there has a chance of losing crew, so I was very fortunate not to lose any crew there. What are you looking for in those stores? Only 44 scrap, uh, automated reloader, long range scanners. Ooh, okay, hold on here. We can get boarding style rewards from this ship if we do this right. There's nobody in the O2 room. There is a guy locked in the engine room. And one guy in this section. So I'm gonna try to disable the O2 and then just keep the weapons down until they suffocate. Bring in the funk, what a player. Why not Scrap Recovery Arm? Because Scrap Recovery Arm in hard mode is a bad investment. You gotta have that 50 scrap to upgrade your ship in hard mode. You just really can't justify, in my opinion, buying Scrap Recovery Arm with your scrap in hard mode. Oh no. Well, mistakes were made there. I tried to get tricky and disable my shields. No regrets. I don't think so, Wayside. Well, I finished my pinball sleeve, so it might be, might be new. Okay. I mean, they gotta be getting close. Let's take a peek here. Oh yeah, it's pretty red in there. There it goes. Living that slug life. No pause means we do not use the pause feature of the game, Jupin. In FTL, you can pause the game at any time to make decisions, move your crew around, time out your weapons. So we're not using the uh, pause feature at all. Attack him before he can attack. Attack the attacker. Attacking. <laughs> no pause FTL is definitely a pinnacle gaming experience for me. I was uh, I was thinking through uh, some of my top gaming experiences, and this is definitely way up there. What are you doing? You're supposed to be here, sirs. I did win the Kestrel run, yes. Augment Reverse Ion Field. Well, we're gonna take this deal for a Sector 1 deal. Uh, the 20 scrap and then the Augment that sells for 30 is really good. Also, Reverse Ion Field, I believe a very underrated Augment. Very underrated. 50% chance not to take Ion damage on your shields. Could be the difference between winning and losing very easily. Okay, we're gonna go one and then probably two, three, but perhaps one, two, three. I doubt it. Well guys, this is our training ship. We have the four crew to train and we can actually train up our weapons here. So we're gonna, even though it's sector one, we've done very well in scrap. We've already bought in our second shield and a power bar. So that's 70 scrap plus 64, 134. And then we got the anti-personnel drone and reverse ion field. So I think this is definitely, uh, definitely the run to try to train on. So while we're training, we're going to swap over to Creature from the Black Lagoon Pinball. Probably play a round or two with only 10% dodge. This could uh, take some time. Oh, you're right. I can't train engines here. I can't. So in this case, we'll wait for a better training ship. Uh, Kasem, because there is no guarantee of getting a second Zoltan and also playing in no pause, it's extremely easy to... 
uh, move your Zoltan out and then lose your shielding. So the engines is the safest place for the Zoltan to be, where they're not going to, um, yeah, it's just the safest. Do, do, do. You have to keep in mind when you're playing no pause that you don't have the luxury of managing your power the way you want to. So if you're low on power, like just say for example, I have my Zoltan in my shield room. We're rocking in a rolling and fighting, and then I go, oh god, he needs to go to the med bay. I lose my shielding. That's that's definitely not two jumps. I want it to be, but I don't think it is. Not gonna risk it, this run's gone too well so far. No engine training here, because we have our engines were hacked. What's up? I can't think of a name. Well, congratulations on finishing the move. Moving's always stressful, but... What? Yeah, let's load up that shield, though. Keep it. I can't think of a name. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 10 consecutive months. Four fuel, three missiles, 18 scrap, and a scrap recovery arm in Sector 1. Okay. Let's make a deal. Okay, man. Uh, I, I have a bad feeling about this. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's going too well. We're gonna need to get weapons, but we just got long range scanners and scrap recovery arm. It might actually be worth selling the reverse ion field right now. It's definitely not the in-game one I'm going to want, but this could save my life, too. The problem is if I find another augment as a reward, uh, I'm going to lose it. I'm gonna keep it. It's a really good augment for uh, no pause, anyways. I need weapons badly from the store. Okay, I'm gonna go Civi here and then go down here. I don't wanna do Nebula right now. I guess I have long range scanners, actually. I should go for max Nebulas. Okay. Wow, what a what a dirty tarp sector. There won't be a next time. Open fire. All right, we'll hold out here to see if they board again. Yeah, for sure, Marcus, for sure. Yeah, that's kind of how I'm feeling there, Hey Zero. I feel like it's setting me up for failure. But it's giving me a really good start, so I'm definitely gonna take the opportunity and run with it. I don't think they're gonna board with the second crew. We're gonna wait a good 30 to 45 seconds here to make sure they're not gonna board before we go train. I don't think they will board since I killed off one crew, but you just never know. Make sure they don't get bored. Do, 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 do. 
you can, but if I'm gonna get AFK train split skull, there is a chance to become disjointed and then I kill the ship on accident. And we should have weapon training done by the time piloting's done, is how I feel. All right, guys, we're gonna play a few rounds of Creatures in the Black Lagoon Pinball, or one good round. We'll see how the rounds go while we wait for this training, and then we'll uh, we'll come on back. Dapper. Penguin Ninja, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 35 consecutive months. One away from the Subscriber Hall of Fame. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Here we go. Had a lot of fun playing Creature this week. Definitely looking forward to, uh, definitely uh, looking forward to playing Ghostbusters when it gets here, but I'm actually finally enjoying the Creature. Nobody's coming to help you, buddy. I dig move your car too, man. What a great mode, huh? Uh, last night we had a billion round, Big Bill. We've had a 590 today. And playing pretty well. Ooh. Don't do that. a lot better at that shot. Hey, cool, Lolan. It's great stuff, dude. We got a lot of uh, pinball and arcade cab enthusiasts in my chat. Catchiness is real. There we go. All right, so we started multi-ball. The basic premise of multi-ball is to find the creature, rescue the girl, collect your jackpot. See these yellow searchlights have lit up at the center shot and the two orbits. Um, we search for the creature there, he's in a random location, and then after that we shoot the snack bar to rescue the girl and collect the jackpot. Or that's the plan anyways. 
Uh, what happened last night, Lockjaw, is the little cup that the ball sits on to eject from uh, from this thing right here, the cup fell off, so I just had to go, go and glue it. to get two times play field multiplier there by shooting up through the whirlpool but no uh no go after that well i wasn't gonna go for the play field multiplier but i hit two shots right away so it was like why not right so you can get up to a four times play field multiplier during multi-ball by shooting up the left ramp which goes to the whirlpool But we're still alive. Wasn't a successful multi-ball, but no harm done. Yeah, fair enough, Big Bill. This machine does have a very, uh, well, has an easier rule set to grasp if you're not as familiar with pinball for sure. I can definitely agree with that statement. All right, we back. We back in the multi-ball, guys. We got this. Okay, Nebuchadnezzar, you're definitely encouraged to shake or nudge the machine. Uh, what happens is there's a metal ring underneath the pinball machine. Inside that metal ring, there's a plumb bob. As you move the machine around, the plumb bob moves back and forth. If you touch the outside of the metal ring, you get a warning. You get two warnings per ball, and on your third warning, the machine tilts. So yes, it, nudging is a, uh, a mechanic you're supposed to be using when you play pinball. It's all about how much you can get away with. So you usually try to save your nudges for if you know your ball is going to drain. Dog 159 thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 25 consecutive months, dude. Much love. Nah, Damarax. I mean, as long as you're not, like, picking up the machine and dropping it, 
Uh, should be fine. The tilt bob's in there for a reason. It's to set the limit of how much you can uh, nudge the machine. Like, I would never get upset at somebody for tilting one of my machines. Not ever. I'm sure there's some, some hobbyists and stuff to get pissy about that, but... Pinball machines are meant to be played, and part of playing pinball is knowing your limitations. We're back. Third multi-ball this round. Oh, that was almost sick. Let's. Okay. Yeah, no death saves. I mean, there's there's some really aggressive maneuvers you can do on pinball machines to try to save yourself, but... All right, we'll see if we can pull off this shot. What I'm going to try to do is backhand here up this ramp. Not enough juice. There she is! I want to shoot the snack bar like more than you know. I'm 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 trying. Quit mocking me, game. Jackpot! All right, now if we can hit the pop bumpers up top twenty times, we can light super jackpot. So what I try to do here is cycle one ball being in the top portion. Super jackpot! And that'll start the multi-ball over from the starting point. There was a lot of cool stuff I did that multi-ball. Also very lucky. Also very lucky. Each time you receive super jackpot on this machine, it doubles your current jackpot value. Hey, buddy, move your car. Get on down here, ball. Come on down. It's time to fulfill your destiny, pinball. Holy crap. Five. 
One reason this machine is as violent as it is, is that the, uh, Ed Boon, one of the creators of Mortal Kombat, helped work on a lot of pinball machines, this one included. You yeah, actually see a lot of uh, Mortal Kombat references in pinball machines from the 90s for that reason. Okay, so this is a 1990s machine with a 1950s drive-in theme. Is the best way to describe it. Ed Boon also worked on Black Rose. Cool. It's going great, Lance. Spectacular. We're having ourselves a round. Safe to say this will be our only round uh, before we get back to the no pause Kestrel B. Yeah, most of my pinball sleeve is themed off of this machine. I think it has really great art, and, uh... I mean, it's got a hot dog wearing sunglasses. I mean, how cool is that, right? I got that hot dog wearing sunglasses, too. Where is he? There he is. Hot dog wearing sunglasses. That's all you gotta know about Creation of the Black Lagoon. I am way too old for that ball to be moving that fast. That's all I'm saying. This machine also features a hot dog wearing a superhero cape. So, you know, pretty cool stuff. All right, we have popcorn and ice cream lit here, which is probably the safest snack bar shot. Since we've collected jackpot already, we, uh, oh, Jesus. Since we've collected jackpot already, uh, we cannot light the snack bar targets by shooting into the snack bar. Holy crap. There's one. So each time you hit the pop numbers back here, it'll change which lights are lit. So we're trying to get an advantageous one lit we can actually hit. When I grow up, I'm going to be a hot dog wearing sunglasses. I like it. All right, we're still very much in the game here. If I can just get back to multi-ball. Alright, we got popcorn unlit right now. That's good. There we go. Back in business. That was a really good that was a really good round 622 million pretty good pretty darn good we must be we must be uh trained right now when it goes out the outlines it says focus is what it says i know what it sounds like 
Be right back. See you guys in FTL. Uno Memento here. Alright, sweet stuff. We get weapons fully trained there? We did. Keep it Vermino 2004, thank you for keeping it tab. I appreciate these three consecutive months. Much love. So if you guys missed the start of this run, we have... Reverse ion field, long range scanners, uh, and scrap recovery arm out of sector one. So we're looking pretty good right now. What are some good tips for FTL? Well, my best tip is don't do what I'm doing right now and not pause. You should be pausing early and often and thinking through your decisions. A big part of FTL is not, uh, not dying, it's understanding why you die. Keep it dapper. I'd say it's actually the biggest skill in FTL is understanding why you died. So always pause and think through your decisions. Formulate a plan and try to execute that plan. If your plan doesn't work, your plan doesn't work. But at least you had one rather than just going, oh no. Yeah, engage. Okay, beam drone, one laser, no problem. But yeah, the scrap recovery arm was an award from event. We got three three augments as rewards. No, he bought the long range scanners. Two augments as rewards. Swift Blood eight. Thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. Also, and as a general rule, your first fifty scrap should go into your second shield, and try to have uh, three shields by sector five. Any tips for Lanius A? I don't even remember the layout of Lanius A. I'm sorry. What's up, Files? Hope you guys have been enjoying the intermittent pinball breaks during FTL. It's been, uh, been really awesome. Really nice to actually be able to utilize that four capture card setup. Cool, Rats. I'll give it a look. Haven't heard of it, though. Nothing useful, that's fine. Okay, we got Ion Storm, Ion Storm. How much power are we working with right now? 10? We're gonna actually upgrade, we're gonna upgrade engines right now so we can take these Ion Storms. So what you try to do, uh, you get rounded up when you have uh, power. So if I had 10 power, I'd lose five. If I have 11, I'm only losing five, so I'll have six to work with, that's enough for Two shields and two lasers, or one shield, three lasers, and an engine. Uh, Jamie Allegro, I'm really happy with my collection. My dream machine is the Star Trek Next Generation, which I own. Repugnant arm the weapons. K. 
Can't be calling people repugnant, sir. It's not nice. No, don't do that. That was really stupid of me. He's fine. Yeah, we're, we actually use uh, basically line mats for kitchen work. Exactly is what we use for the pinball machines. Okay, so they ha I don't need to have my shields up right now because they have only uh, missile launcher. They'll probably get to fire their missile launcher, but that's okay. Yeah, they fired it. Okay, that's fine. Not really fine, but we'll make it work. Nice. Well, these ion storms paid off, but the ion storms actually could have dunked my run, but I can't turn down any opportunity for scrap at this point. I've gotta have it. Because I need to upgrade my weapons by the next sector, or we're gonna have a pretty mediocre time. store is I think we have to go to the store here though no we, we don't have to go to the store in fact we shouldn't go to the store because if I do it really robs me of a majority of my jumps I wish that store wasn't there Terminator 2 Pinball Machine's a, uh, definitely a classic. It's a good one. Well, honestly, store's important, because if I don't upgrade my weapons by the end of the next sector, we're pretty much dead in the water. But we're doing really well on scrap, so all I need is one good store. Do, 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 do. Hey, our gamble kind of paid off. Not the weapons we were looking for, that's for sure. Cats, come on. Two fuel. All right, that's our store then. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a third engine since we have the power to power it. Attack the ship. Ooh, he's got a defense, too. Okay, the advantage of Uncharted Nebula is inside of a Nebula sector, you get two-thirds fleet pursuit, so we technically get more jumps out of this sector than we would normally. That is the main benefit of doing uh, Nebula sectors. You get more jumps, and since we have long-range scanners, we can discern where the actual ship fights are and just get more scrap for the entire entire route. If you're inside a normal sector and you jump into a nebula, it's half fleet pursuit. If you go into an actual nebula sector, it's two-thirds pursuit.
Five fuel, two drone parts, eight scrap. Oh, that's a pretty nice deal. That is a pretty nice deal. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Unless this was a double scrap event. I don't think it was, though. Yeah, you have to calculate in the scrap you're getting from the fuel, though. So that's 15 plus 8 is really 23 scrap. This was weapon offer, that's right. I'm gonna take that. Hmm. Hmm. Three jumps? Sure looks like it. Actually, I purposely left the pilot no two there to make sure they didn't walk over there and try to kill him. Because that would have been worst case. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's two jumps for sure. Attack the ship. Yeah, we can run the manus up there. Thank you, Kento. That's really only a strat I would use in a no pause situation. I'm purposely suffocating my crew to make sure the borders go where I need them to. Fair enough. Hello, thank you for choosing to fight in the med bay. I'm Tasty Slowcooker. I'll be eating your face today. Nailed it. Combat Drone Mark 1. All right. Good evening, Stiffy. How you doing, sir? I just need a store that will improve this weapon system. That's all I need. The problem is, at the start of the next sector, we'll be running into two shield ships. Okay, NG Homeworlds is certainly a good opportunity to get a weapon. Uh, guaranteed three stores in this sector. There's one of them. However, before we do that, I'm going to go one, two, three. Uh, I don't want to miss out on these two jumps. Is there a dive possibility here? Not really. Not a good exit location. Even though we're slightly underpowered for where we're at, I do need to, uh, need, do need to do this. Oh no, not the med bay. Now, in sector three, uh, one shield ship certainly do still happen. Doing good, Andy Tomo. Sly Guy 2021, thank you for keeping it damper. Appreciate the four consecutive months. Much love. Big ups to everybody that subscribes and supports my content, whether you spend your time watching, support the affiliates, or whatever you do. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you. Hello, 
Hello, Adrian. Are we going to have a normal conversation today, or are you just going to type a bunch of random stuff in chat? Either way, thanks for being here. Anti-ship beam drone. Well, we're going to be rich at the stores. Hopefully we can transition. Hey, nothing wrong with a little study break. Sit back, relax, enjoy, sir. I reject your offer, sir. Keep it dapper. Oh no, not an engineer in the med bay. The Wasabi HD, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the five consecutive months. Much love, dude. Much love. Okay, enemy FTL shouldn't be charging here, in my opinion. Okay, it's not. Why are you sending your NGs over, man? That's all I'm asking. Why? Nope. Nope. This is rough. I think we're gonna go to the next store and hope they have a better weapon. I mean, I could buy like drone control here and then try to load up double combat drone or some nonsense. But I want a real weapon. It's not consistent enough. See, that's much more consistent. So now we're up to six lasers. Hmm. Okay, we're going to sell the reverse ion field to buy the automated reloader. Okay, we're on a six laser setup now, so now we're looking pretty good. Uh, Pike Beam's the worst beam to use in a no-pause situation. Basically, Halberd's the cutoff for no-pause, because with Pike Beam, you have to be able to pause and... You have to be able to pause and then hit their ship as soon as the shields go down. So unless you have hacking, uh, beam weapons underneath Halberd Beam are not good uh, at no pause. Dapper. Normal pause runs, Pike Beam is one of the top tier weapons. But in this situation, not so much. Jay T Turneray, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 27 consecutive uh, months. Keep it dapper. Much love. Holy Uber Heal. Little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the dapper. Holy Uber heal. Appreciate it. Yeah, only for no pause is the Pike Beam a bad weapon. Because the timing is just too uh, too intense to, to nail consistently. Hey, Zaxius Colander. How you doing, sir? 
Stiffy, 1984. Dapper. Thank you for keeping it tapper. Appreciate the 38 consecutive months. What a legendary player. 38. How many hours you had in this game? Let's look. 1,425, just rolled over. Highest on my channel, I believe, is 50. We will not accept surrender. Pulsar, I'll pass on going to a Pulsar. Man, long range scanners are a lifesaver. Trance BMP, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper Trance. Appreciate the support, man. Much love. Okay, we're getting boarded here. They have single laser and teleporting bomb. Not so bad. We still want to remove the teleporting bomb here, of course. Uh, yeah, I think they're working on a new game, Bomb Maze. I haven't heard anything about it, though. Whatever it is, I'll play it, because these devs know how to freaking make games well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's attempt the Kyle Civilian. What do you got? Hey, double reward. Nice. Getting that scrap recovery arm in Sector 1, I believe, is allowing us a lot more freedoms on this run, which I appreciate. Still gotta be careful. Huh. Yeah, it's about the same for me in a skill shot. Anti-combat drone. Aight. Nope, no, no repair there. We're good. We just need three burst laser twos. Yeah, there you go. Just three more. Just three more. No big deal. I might just buy my third shield here shortly. Wow, the misses. Nice trance. No matter what emotes change on my channel, well, maybe not even changing emotes ever again, we'll see. Uh, that mini cap is gonna stay. That was a real special emote when I got it. Ooh, five fuel, one drone part, 12 scout. I'm gonna take this deal. We're going into nebulas this run. Feels good. I mean, my most played game of all time is definitely going to be World of Warcraft. Like, no question. I don't know if I'll ever surpass that hour amount. Well, I will eventually on something. Uh, Major Laser, we just started the no pause challenge today. So we're going through the Kestrel ships to start. Okay, we just hit the Slug Nebula. Slugs are jerks. What an interesting sector layout. Okay, so we need to go over, down, through this pass here, then up, down, and back to the exit. 
Um, when I stopped playing WoW, I played for about three and a half years. I had over one year played time on my Druid. So that's uh, basically playing eight hours a day for three years. Who knows with alts included? Who knows? I don't want to think about it. <laughs> You know, Engineer's pretty tempting to pick up right now. Hmm. Oh. Well, let's check out this other store then, huh? Not <laughs> cool snipe shot. That's nice. I'm sorry, maybe? I don't know. All right, this is a good purchase. Defense drone, Mark One, and we're very close to our third shield as well, so we have a very uh, beneficial build right here. Well, Slug would have made a great pilot, but I have a hard time justifying buying um, stuff in this area. Okay, I'm gonna, well, we're so well equipped for this sector, I'm not too worried about the O2 hacking event. It's just not that big of a deal. Oh, it's not, Kadunk. Definitely not. Let's go for oxygen here. Okay, that is a glade beam, ladies and gents. So we just need to kill off this ship by the time we suffocate, and we need to also get this glade beam down so it can hit through two shields. But since they have a glade beam, I'm just going to guess that their, uh, their dodge isn't good. Oh my god, their dodge is amazing. Can you not? Unbelievable. Okay, that was a very good hit. Uh, there we go. That was scary as hell. There we go. Never, never preemptively say stuff about the game. That's the lesson we learned about FTL right here. Just don't, just don't try to call it, you know. It ain't gonna work out the way you want it to. Okay, we've already seen two stores in this sector. I'm just going to go ahead and immediately buy um, my third shield. Because that would have saved me damage on the previous run. Yeah, this kitty is being super cutie today. What a good boy. What a good stream cat. I swear to God he sleeps for 20 hours a day. And then he's just crazy as hell for four hours. But this, this is his life. He's got it so hard. If that beam hit weapons, yeah. Problems. Problems galore. Hey! O2 hacking event! Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna go straight for shields here. See, I should have waited for my O2 to be back online before I jumped. Okay, that's a firebomb. Yeah, we're gonna be okay here. Great place for a firebomb to go, because there was already uh, no O2 in that room. Alright, we're good. Alright, now we're gonna wait for everything to get uh, back to 100% here. So what happens when the danger zone reaches Winston? He gets even more tired. That is a pretty good orange juice. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going to buy one more power bar here. This way we can drop it to load up the defense drone if we need to. Mm-hmm. 
Do 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 do. I'm gonna refuse to drink here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Those guys are living this life. So if you drink there, if you succeed the roll, which is only about 25%, um, you can get... You can get a store there. Do you ever believe it is worth to upgrade doors early? In a pausing situation, absolutely not. In a no-pause situation, most certainly. Doors can be a lifesaver. But in a pausing run, there's so many ways to manipulate the enemy crew to do what you want uh, via by venting oxygen. I don't think... I don't think so. Uh, no surrender for you, thanks. That is a Rockman Blue event, indeed. Good memory. I'm worried if I just go one, two, and then three, and then up here, I'm gonna not have enough jumps to actually get to the exit. No, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. What's under attack? Slug life. Oh, I see here, I see. Okay, it's Firebomb and the med bay's hacked. Nice. Really important I keep their weapons down. Because one Firebomb could kill off my crew. Yeah, these guys are not a slug for sure. Whew. So we've gotten, uh, like, all the nasty events in the slug sector. Most of them, anyways. My goodness. Attack! Alright, this will be a great time to showcase the defense drone. Alright, if I can get a full volley off on shields here and bring their shields all the way down, we can get their, uh, we can get their cloaking down too. And that's not the case. Gonna wait for their cloak here. That is true, some automated ships can have five shields. Two fuel? I don't think so. Yep, ships like this are the exact reason, indeed. That's why we bought the defense drone. Uh, Meridine, that works the same for your ship. When you're cloaked... Okay, when you're cloaked, you can still charge your weapons, but the enemy ship can't target you with their weapons, so their weapons don't charge. So, for example, in the phase one of the flagship cloaks, your weapons no longer charge, and vice versa for the other ships. So, an enemy ship, if your cloak cannot charge their weapons on you, and vice versa. But they will definitely be charging their weapons while they're, while they're cloaked. Okay, that's only a single, Manus. 
I was very confused about that mechanic myself for a long time. Nice fire in the weapons. Bum, 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 ba -dum, ba -dum. Okay, the way the enemy ships work is they actually won't fire until their cloaking's done. So the way the enemy ship AI works is that they will charge their weapons till the full duration of their cloak is done. And then whatever's charged when they release the cloak, they'll fire all at once. Ooh. Okay, how many jumps realistically do we have here? I think four. I think we can go one, two, three, four, five. Having a great one, Dark Osto. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So if you have cloaking as well and they have cloaking, it's most beneficial for you to save your cloak for right after they uncloak. All right, third store in the Slug Nebula. Page two. real talk we do have we do have 41 missiles and small bombs a pretty great tool small bomb could be uh the interim between or it could be the bridge to a good weapon system or i could just say f it and we're in sector four mm. small bomb is really good I think I'm just going to save. I'm just going to save for uh, I'm going to save for a better weapon. Fire beam would be awesome if I had if I was on a pausing run right now, I would 100% buy that fire beam and get it online. But we're not on a pausing run. We're on a no pause run. Good for you another castle. Good for you. Nope, I haven't heard it yet. Great pirates. Uh, yes, I will accept your challenge. Sick, nasty, slub triangle music coming up. Oh, nice, it's staggered missiles. Equally nice that they, uh, ooh, okay. Did I not load up a defense drone there? What a dumb dumb. Okay, that sucks, but. They're going to be out of missiles here in about one more volley, I think. Ouch! Dude. All right. Okay, so that's 10 missiles they've had so far. That's a really high amount of missiles for a ship like this to have. All right, whatever. They're now out of missiles. Breach is fixed. We need shields repaired once more so we can't take damage here. Wow, that uh, that really hurt. Can we please get this repaired before I die? Yeah, we just took about 30 scrap worth of damage. That was most unfortunate. But we're now fully in the clear. The ship cannot damage us. But damn, we're in the red. Life. It's okay though, at least we bought a couple repairs of the last store. We were even in worse position. But hey, we're good pirates after all, indeed. Maybe the best.
Still think most efficient kill here is going to be um, just try and take down their shields. There we go. I see the rumors are true. I yield. We are no match for you. Take this and let us leave in shame. 40 scrap and breach missiles. Breach missiles sell for 35 or 32. So uh, I'm definitely going to take that deal and hope we run into a store early. Early and often on the next sector. Okay, that's a glaive beam and a single laser. So the ship can damage me. So we want to hit their weapons as soon as we can. That might even be worth the damage. The way we can look at this is the breach missile is basically paid for our repairs. So we got a, ba a 40 scrap deal or 40 scrap for beating that ship. If I can make it to a store. If. Uh, I think it's actually the fourth glade beam this sector. Unfortunately, no, Major Lazor. Uh, missile weapons in this game are just vastly underpowered. The Breach Missile is nice, but if we run to any ship with a uh, defense drone, it's completely wasted. Yeah, NG controlled all the way. I want three stores, man. The only way I can pause the game is by hitting F10, so it definitely wasn't a pause. Okay, we can take the guaranteed fight here, or we can go up. I'm going to go up here to get the a look at more, more jumps. Stores are important. Side with the fugitive. Remo, what's happening, bud? Scary ship. All right, we're going to be okay. Just be cool, honey bunny. Be cool. Yeah, the side of the future can be bad for sure. I wanted the free manus as well as why I took the risk. It was worth. The problem is if you do the refuse to fight one, sometimes the manus has a uh, like a, a bomb on him and he blows up your ship, and that sucks. I can't afford five hull damage from that event. It's actually the reason I chose that. I will risk the sun jump here. I'll bet Manus is awful at washing dishes. I bet you're right. Those tiny Manus hands, no thumbs. Well, I'm not sure how I fat fingered that, but I did. Enemy FTL charging. Well, we need to stop that, of course. Four fuel, nope. Dude, how am I not firing one of my weapons? Okay. Got fire in there, just vent that out. Okay, then we can go store and then up to the, oh, never mind. Store, distress, over, down, swing around this way. This is actually a pretty good diving opportunity. You get at least two more jumps out of the sector. But right now we want to repair our ship. Because I don't want to die. Oh, 
Why? Why do you offer me a second reloader? Pre-igniter sucks with this build, so we're definitely not going to get pre-igniter. If I had slower firing weapons, pre-igniter would be worth it. Pre-igniter is actually very powerful on no pause and a pretty good pickup, but... Yeah, the reloader is actually worth more than the pre-igniter for me. Exactly, Pyro Joe. Exactly. This is a painful decision. I almost never get a scrap recovery arm in hard mode. I can't sell the scrap recovery arm. There's too much scrap to be had. Always hard mode, Nostra. We only play FDL and hard. Always, always. I don't know if the arm's paid for itself yet. Well, I didn't buy it, technically, so it has paid for itself. Gosh bless. Okay, let's buy our fourth engine and a power bar. And hopefully find a weapon at the next store. Well, if you consider it over the course of the entire run, though, Soviet Salad, you're looking, it could be like an extra 250 scrap or so, so if you have a good run. Preloader serves no real purpose with this weapon system. Like, uh, yeah, it allows me to fire first, but I'm firing first anyways. You really have to have a, a very slow firing weapon to make the pre-igniter actually worth it. In my opinion. We had like a flak 2 or something. That's where the pre-igniter really shines. But pre-igniting basic lasers is kind of a joke. Okay, Tony Loud, the top tier weapons are Burst Laser 2 and Flat Cannon 1. The best weapon systems are generally all projectiles, so Flat Cannons, Lasers, Burst Laser 1, Burst Laser 2. But truthfully, if you're just starting playing, uh, try everything out. Play on easy and buy different weapons and see how you like them if you can make them work. Pre-igniter does not max the fire rate of Vulcan, but it removes the uh, the biggest portion of the, the load. So it starts at 16 seconds or something like that, so it removes that when you're down to 12 or 10 or whatever it is. Thank you for choosing to fight in the med bay. Nice. Whoa, that noise is scary. Okay, we need to try to go for shielding now. Doo -doo. That is a nasty noise. Do not appreciate. I know my O2's down, but I want to get that med bay back online first. Four fuel, three missiles, 20 scrap, not good enough. Yeah, for sure, T-Vardary. I was thinking about my pinnacle gaming experiences here on Twitch, and the no pause uh, FTL run was definitely way up there. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, good time for a defense drone. Come on in. You're all softened up. Ready to be digested by our Manus crew. Good job, Defense Drone. Are you going to do the challenge within 28 days? God, no. I would never put a time limitation on a challenge like this. You just don't know. We will not accept surrender, dirty humanitis. Da -da -da -da. 27 scrap a doodle. Okay, we can technically end the run on this jump. I'm definitely going to dive here. So I think we can go like one, two, three, four, five, maybe. No, that ain't gonna work. How about we go one, two, three, four, five. Six. Chat's always slow here. A rule breaking doorknob. Long live the lurker. Let's do a lurker roll call. If you're lurking in the chat and you're able, post yourself some of your favorite emotes. I'm going to post myself a frag lurk. If you're wondering what a lurker is, it's somebody that actively watches the channel but does not actively participate in chat. Where are my lurkers at? I know you're out there lurking, waiting for your opportunity. Your opportunity is now. There they are. Look at all those lurkers go. Sea Shoulder, thank you for keeping a dapper. Appreciate the 21 consecutive months. Much love. <sighs> Holy shit. Look how many lurkers there are. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Keep it. Spoonerton, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 37 consecutive months. Much love. Never apologize for lurking in my channel. Never. I appreciate my lurkers. I know it's hard for people to accept, but uh, literally Keep about 90% of people that watch my channel have no interest in participating in chat, and that's okay. Domaku, thank you for keeping a tab. I appreciate the 37 consecutive months. Much love. All right, guys, I'm going to take a short break here. I'm kind of torn on my route I should go here. And I think I need to go chill out for a second. We'll be back in three minutes. If you allow ads to play on my channel, I greatly appreciate it. If you do not, I still very much appreciate your time here. However, if you'd like to support me and my content further, please consider bookmarking the Amazon affiliate page. All you have to do is enter Amazon through that link and do your normal shopping. It'll look, work, and cost exactly the same. Easy way to support. Free way to support. It's a win-win for everybody. Be back shortly.
Oh, yes. Tapping in, Mr. Ferret. I think we get four jumps to here, not five. I don't know, though. We can go one, two. Let's go one, two, and then I can decide if we're going to go three, four, five to the exit. It's possible. Participate in their study. Stiff dough and scrap. My favesies. What's up, Chewy Granola Bar? Nice ferret. Nice. Boarding drone. Well, I'll sell that. There's the store I was looking for. I don't know if this is three or not. But what I do know for sure is this is two more. So I can go one, two, three. And if I can sneak in four, great. If not, we dive to the exit. God bless, do I need weapon? You know what to also make the system work? Nice. Keep it dapper. Would be hacking. Hacking would also work. Seek a way out. Thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 18 consecutive months. And honey, rye, rye, little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the dapper, honey, rye, rye. We got there. Well, it's not a win yet, but this is very good. This is very good. We can buy the flag cannon. We're going to do this one piece at a time to see what we actually have as far as scrap goes. Okay, so that loads up our flag cannon. We know that we need to get this online and buy a power bar for it. Oh boy, does flak help. Oh boy, does it help. Let's put this here so I can go one, two, three, four. Next best purchase here is going to be selling off the boarding drone and then buying hacking. Level three hacking and two power bars brings me right here. Well, three power bars. All right, so we survived long enough to get the system we wanted. Great. I would have loved to buy cloaking here. Well, in this case, Mad Hatter, the padding is kind of the basic laser, because we only lose one laser for having the one power taken down. If this system was flak one, flak one, burst laser two, then buying the weapon padding makes a lot more sense. But if we take a damage to our weapons, we're only losing one laser. We're not losing the main components of our weapon system. It's a good thought, though. Honestly, buying padding for your weapon systems is a really good policy. Fin for yourself, attack and escape. Not you. Hey, not you. You are. God bless you. Frickin', frickin' Zoltans, man. Taste the pepper. Be the pepper. Would it have been worth buying what you needed and powering after because you get scrap later, but not in the items for sure? Um, no, I don't think so. It's not a bad thought, though. So you can see that our offense has definitely gotten better. I absolutely needed to get firepower there. Yeah, I couldn't I couldn't afford to wait. I did rekey it. I have a uh, I'm pressing space right now. I have a uh, pause bound to F10, which there's no way I could possibly hit that. 
Lutz, little hand to you, friend. I believe that is a welcome back to the Dapper. Thanks so much for the support. Much love to you. Do, 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 do. No, I did not sell scrap recovery arm. We held on to it. Okay, these guys are trying to get away. I'm going to try to damage as many systems as possible here. There we go. You're not going anywhere. This is one of the best streaming games, Shotobos. I really enjoy playing this game still. I wouldn't play it otherwise, but... Uh, I was I was thinking, like, last night about some of my pinnacle gaming experiences here on Twitch, and the FTL no-pause runs are definitely up there. Um... I was also thinking about what games I would really play if I wasn't streaming, and this one made a very short list of games that I'd still play. Okay. I'm gonna buy... well, no. We're gonna wait. All right, so we're about to jump into an ASB jump. But with level three hacking, this is A-OK. -okay. Well, I could just try to kill this ship to get the fuel. Let's do that. That sucks. Oh, never mind. We're good. I should have just jumped. That's okay. We're alive. Um, I'm actually pretty tempted to go Uncharted Nebula here. I'm gonna go Uncharted Nebula. We got we got long range scanners. Yeah, no pause runs are all about the tension, no doubt. Do 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 do. Uh, I played XCOM 2 for one day and then requested a refund from Steam. It was really poorly optimized when I tried to play it. So I only played it for about four hours. We only got nine fuel, need to be wary of that. That is really the only benefit of the nebulas, yes. Uh, you definitely try to want to avoid nebulas if you don't have long range scanners, but if you do have long range scanners, you're in a really great spot. Okay, we know we're gonna have to go down here anyways, so... I guess we can go one, two, like three, four... F well... One, two, three, four, five, over this way.
I think a hull repair drone is really what I'm looking for to secure this. The point of visiting a nebula is you get more jumps than usual. If you're going to a nebula sector, the fleet pursuit is two-thirds. If you're going to a normal sector and you jump into a nebula, it's only half fleet pursuit. Cloak now. Okay, weapons are down now. Great. Doing good, love. A little bit lower on hold than I'd like here. We can definitely recover that. Nice double scrap reward. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to save the stealth ships for last this time around. I think I'll probably make like a spreadsheet this weekend with all the ships on it and then uh, just check them off from there. Yay! It's a store. Yay! Kestrel B probably has one of the best starts, but I certainly wouldn't consider it one of the best in the game. Ooh, there it is. Um, I want to buy this really bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, repair is hype here for sure. Hull repair saves so much scrap on damage, and it's a true lifesaver on the flagship fight. Kestrel B dominates for uh, Sector 1 and 2, but realistically has about the same chance of any other ship. It's all about, uh, it's all about what you find. Yeah, I don't use that. I don't consider it an exploit, but I don't do the um, hull repair jump away with the drum recovery arm. This is a good weapon. Pretty high chance of well, low price on breach, but you get two shots. That bring me up to nine projectiles. Well, eight right now. Maybe perhaps it would be Mad Hatter, but I'm pretty set in my ways for playing. The hotkeys I use are hacking, cloaking, and mind control. Yeah, if you hole repair and then after two ticks of it, you jump away with the drone recovery arm, you receive your drone part back. So you can basically heal every jump. Too cheesy for me. Fourteen seconds for two lasers. I'm actually gonna hold off on buying the whole laser right now. I think four shields might be the ticket here, and uh, I have other stuff I'd like to buy, like another flak instead. I'd have to depower this, and I don't have enough to buy both the weapon power and the whole laser. So I think that's going to be correct. Ooh. 
You receive a wide band message, free schematic samples. Be sure to visit our new military grade drone store opening in sector XR145, Combat Drone Mark II. Wow. That might actually get some use. Two missiles for three drone parts? Heck yes. Boom! What's happening, Brian? Alright, we're actually going to drop Brian onto the piloting here. Yes, this lowers our dodge amount. Ooh. Okay, we're going to buy level 2 piloting. We're buying level 2 piloting for this jump right here. Well, combat 2 in conjunction with level 3 hacking is a monster combo. It completely eviscerates shields. It's level 2 or 3 mind control. I can't tell. It's pretty high up there, though. Yeah, it's true. Uh, slugs are the real champions of phase three of the flagship fight. Keep it dapper. Jodo195, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 18 consecutive months. Much love. And Mr. Clausen, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the 26 consecutive months. Keep it dapper. Much love, dude. Should be appropriate. We're definitely going to hit weapons here first. That will, uh, if I get their weapons down, they're going to get more shielding. That's okay. Why don't they have more shielding right now? Okay, weapons are down. We're safe-ish. Honestly, jumping into um, Ion Storms in a no-pause run is a very dangerous maneuver. But, we're here. We lived. Okay, we know we're going to have the same amount of power available for the next fight. So, uh, we're just going to heal up our crew real quick and then leave this as our system. Yeah, we're at an odd number of power. That's good. <laughs> the hacking module will disable a system for up to 15 seconds. So for shields, it'll drain the shields. For med bay, it... Ooh, that's a weapon. Okay, on a good note here, I'm going to get to fire before they do. I hope. Okay, their flat cannon is still online. I'm going to go over here and hack. Because I can't afford to have that fire right now. Well, I could afford for that to fire. I just would really prefer not to. I guess it'd be a better way to put it. Okay, this ship is trying to run away from me. What we're going to do here is we're going to hack their piloting, and we're going to make sure we disable their piloting uh, with that. Dude, level 3 cloaking as well. The monster. Ooh. 
Keep it dapper. Ooh, they hit me. Skirples, thank you for keeping it dapper. Appreciate the one year of support. Thank you for the great 12 months, sir. That was definitely a uh, correct execution. If you see an automated ship with cloaking trying to run away, you have to disable their piloting immediately. This looks like three jumps to me. Is it though? Is it though? Do 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 do. Even if it's a dive, it's not the end of the world, I guess. I guess. Oh yeah, we're good. Um, Anatus, I definitely feel a bit rusty, but it's not a problem. I will say this though, even at my prime, I never felt that comfortable going into a no pause run. Four fuel, two drone parts, 57 scrap, and an anti personnel drone. I think I'd be remiss not to take that deal. The anti-personnel drone's only 17 scrap, but the two drone parts are uh, 6 to 10 whole, and we need the fuel, so I'll take that. This has been a run of good offers for sure. We've got 341 scrap and hold. I should probably spend some of this, but I just don't know what I want to do right now. I'm going to wait. Okay, double missile launcher, only two shields. Six shot defense drone. That was the sickest defense drone I've ever seen. So good. Real talk, there's no reason I should ever have uh, 341 scrap and a no pause when I should have spent some of it already. But I just, just don't know. Someone give that drone a medal. Okay. With 389 scrap in this situation, I think buying my force shield is going to be my best option. Four shields is a much bigger deal in no pause runs than it is uh, otherwise. Well, not rip here because uh, worst case scenario, I have to hack their weapons and then just absorb one, one ASB. Holy guacamole. Now that is a weapon system. The jukes. So here, their flak twos aren't going to be back online by the time I get to run away. And it hit an empty room, so beautiful. 
And we're gone. Slug controlled nebula. Big money, no whammies. We got there. All right, so since we're heading into the Slug Home Nebula, we're going to do several upgrades here that I would not normally do at this point. Keep it dapper. Yeah, I know your tiny man's hands just can't hang. You got there, though, right? Jaruger Dodger, a little hand to you, friend. Welcome to the Dapper. Thanks so much for the support, dude. Much love. James, you're such a sassy kitty. Slug noises. All right, so since we're in the slug now, we're going to buy level two oxygen and level two med bay. And let's buy level two doors as well, because we're going to want those for phase three of the flagship fight. We'll also buy a value point in drones right now. Hull repair at once here. Let's go find those six scrap of doodles. Okay, Ion Ion Halberd Beam. Slam dunk here. I have never seen an enemy ship have hull repair, no. Only combat or defense drones. Two, no surrender. Yeah, AI with whole repair would be really annoying. I agree. All right. Ion Storm, we'll just try to circumvent that. Thank you for the host game key. You find a slug vessel broadcasting the distress signal and kind of like, ah, oh, yes, we are having a problem with our oxygen generation unit. Perhaps your crew could assist in repairs. I don't know if I've ever seen the blue option for the manas here. Oh, yeah, they're scared of the manas. Once the board becomes clear that nothing is wrong with their O2ism, almost expecting this, your manas calmly responds to the trap. Once a couple of slugs have been spread across the walls of their ship, the rest surrender. James. Oh. Poor Jimmy. I think she thought that Winston wasn't up there. She got excited. All right, this is a good candidate for hacking because they got four shields and a pretty decent weapon system on top of it. You're on fire. Oh, liquefied slugums. I'm not accepting surrender from a slug. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maybe Maverick, maybe. Might have been possible. Liquefied Slugs, great band name, man. Uh, 
Uh, I definitely executed that improperly. This is a great opportunity to kill him off. Oh, you're dying. No escape, no surrender. Don't know anything about it, Wolf and Bolt. This may seem kind of lame for somebody that makes their uh, living online, but I follow pretty much no online news. Sorry to disappoint. I don't keep up with current events either. They don't call me the hermit of the internet for nothing. What's up, love life? Well, I don't think we, think we can make an argument against buying cloaking here. Come from Washington State, Ghost. Okay, we get 10 free fuel at the start of the next sector, so I don't think we need to buy fuel here. Could definitely make an argument for selling the scrap recovery arm at this point. However, the scrap recovery arm get puts in the most work in sector seven and eight. Do 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 do. Do you feel like you would have lived quite secluded life? If you lived decades or even a century ago? Oh yeah, for sure, man. I would have been in a shack in the woods somewhere, living off the land. I have no doubt. I have three power bars left, so we can get uh, the defense online. Yeah, Burst Laser 3 is 5 lasers for 4 power, so it's very inefficient in that sense. You know, I'd really like to get the Combat 2 up for Phase 3 of the flagship fight. Big time. So I'm going to hold on to that, and uh, we'll see We'll see what comes next. we got 4 shields, 4 engines, cloaking, level 3 hacking, defense drone, hull repair. It's pretty good. I'm gonna refuse. Okay, this ship is actually particularly uh, scary. Okay, we need to hack shields immediately. Less worried about the mind control, more worried about this weapon system they got. It is really freaking scary. There we go, that's a little bit less scary. A little bit. You know, this might be a candidate to jump away from. Oh, damn it. Hey, maybe not. Might be okay here. No, we're, we're, go we're getting away from this one. We're getting away from that before something really bad happens. You do not get, uh, you do not get dodge training for cloaking, no. Yes, I could have cloaked there, but the potential for that, uh, potential for that glade beam to do something really bad to me was pretty high.
What's up, Sinvicta? I, in fact, could have played that better and probably got, uh, probably got a kill there. But... Not worth it. We've already had a really amazing run this sector, so I don't, or this run, as far as scrap goes, so missing out on one fight is not the end all be all. It's going great, Sir Overtone. How are you, sir? Best run I've had, the only time I got four Burst Laser 2s. Hey! That's why I bought level 2 Med Bay. Okay, they also have that. What am I doing in my life right now? Not firing my weapons, that's what I'm doing. Oh, I just realized that was an Ion, too. Let's cloak and get our uh, shields back. Cheers, Eric. That sounds just about right. Thanks for being a part of the channel for so long, man. Been an amazing journey over the past four and a half years doing this full time. I think you're all amazing and wonderful. Perfect weapon set with augments. Four burst laser twos with three automatic reloaders. I mean, you can make some arguments for pre-igniters too, but I wouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, Anatus. No kidding. Uh, it's a pull. It crossed the threshold where it was going to hit the ship, so we got the dodge training for for that. Four flak ones is the coolest sounding weapon system, but I would not say the best. All right, this is definitely a shield hack opportunity. That'll do. Ben probably did such a stand-up job on this frickin' soundtrack. I mean, it's so good. It's just so good. Doing awesome, Matt D. How are you today, sir? Not just this soundtrack, pretty much all the soundtracks that I've heard of Ben Prunnies have just all been really, really high quality. Just attack the automated ship, huh? Three drones. Wowza, wowza. Mm -hmm. 
I got faith in the field, don't you worry. I got faith. Do, 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 do. we go combat drone mark one as well Ooh. do I take the ship fight here and really hope we get a fuel from that fight or what yeah we do I, I want to get greedy here is that a bad idea though probably you know what? Combat 1, Combat 2 on Phase 3 would be really good. Yeah, that's too greedy. We're going we're going to the exit here. Too too greedy. We've had a really good run. Too greedy. No ASB, but I'd still have to defeat the ship, which is uh, it wouldn't be that hard, but I'd, I'd rather not, you know, throw my run for that. Okay, I'm going to hit this repair station, and hopefully it doesn't screw me over. But I do need the drone parts here. Do, 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 do. I guess we're going this way. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this, this might suck. Let's try to cloak and access. No? Okay. I'm realistically probably going to run away from this fight. That is level 3 mind control, by the way. That is hitting extremely hard. Defense 2, Defense 1. <laughs> Alright, we'll run from this one too then. I'm not even sure if I can hit this ship. And I don't want to waste any drone parts if I don't have to. Never a good idea. Or they could suck at repairing and I can kill them anyways. Truth be told, Claudio, I don't plan more than one day ahead at a time. I haven't wanted to play Risk of Rain for the past few months, but who knows? I don't like looking to the future, because the future is uncertain. The only thing I have control over is the moment I'm in. And I try to make the most of every moment I have. People always ask me, do you plan to play this? Are you going to play this? Do you want to play this? Do you have this plan to do this? And the, the honest answer is, I don't know. I'm only concerned about right now. A fair question, though. Risk of Rain's a great game. One of the greats. I was going to wake my uh, hack phase here, I guess. 
Make sure we get a good volley in. Oh, I'm sure there's some highlights and stuff with some VODs. Should be. I would hope that FTL never has a sequel. It's too good of a game to have a sequel. And I'm really happy the devs decided not to do an FTL 2. I think this game is just alright, just how it is. Oh, you're gonna burn to death? Neat. Neat. There's no time. Get ready to jump. Okay, so we're a little bit behind here, but I think we're going to be just fine. Neat. The devs did themselves a great service with this game, not adding too much content, not adding paid, paid DLC, and not trying to make a sequel. They made a damn fine game. All right, now we're gonna buy, or right, we got our final power, we're gonna buy up to five power and drones, level three doors, level two sensors, value point and weapons, value point and drones. I'm gonna take this fight and then we gotta prepare for the flagship. Shield overcharger, two beam drones, and that. Okay. I don't need to hack here. I don't think I just... I agree with that statement for this game, Ghost DF. I think this is the one that breaks the exception. There's really not much to improve on in this game. For what it is, it's incredibly well made and incredibly well balanced. So to make a sequel, you'd have to say it's going to be better than this game, which is an expectation I think is unfair to surpass. Yay, we hit the shields. Cooking with Frag on Friday, so two days from now, we're doing bacon wrap stuffed meatloaf. Hmm, it's going to be good. Already ran the test batch for that, and it was pretty spectacular. Yeah, maybe some more quests, maybe a few other ship layouts would be about it for me. All right, 77 scrap to spend. Um, let's buy value point and engines, I guess. Sure. All right, guys, I'm going to take a non-ad break here real quick. It's going to stand up and use the restroom real quick, and then we'll talk about our strategy for the three phases of the flagship. Be right back. Mm. I have a good feeling about this. I think we're win percentage, about 85% for this current build would be my guess, but there's always a matter of RNG on the flagship. You never know.
Alright. So phase one. I don't know, man. I really think I should get this combat two rocking. I have cloaking for the first set of missiles, so can I get the combat two online as well with the hacking? If I do that, I can. It's only 25% dodge, but we do have four shields. I think that's going to be my best option, because if I can get the combat two drone active while the, the hacking's happening, it goes down much quicker. Fast enough, I can get two volleys off and take down their uh, cloaking, hopefully. I'm not going to use hull repair here since we're kind of limited on drone parts. I want to save those for a catastrophe, not for uh, what looks like a good situation. Okay, piloting's hacked. That's not good, but it could be worse. Okay. Nice, and fires. Okay, that's bad, though, that we have no uh, piloting, but they're dead. Whew, that went well. That went well. Okay, the tricky part here is going to be cheesing the hacking drone into phase two. Gonna be tricky. Yeah, combat two was crazy good there, and I do believe worth dropping my engines for. That uh, definitely worked as intended. Okay, the execution on the hacking drone is going to be paramount to my success here. It must be executed perfectly. But of course, we're going to wait for them to come into us for this phase. Let's get our hull repaired back up. And I'm actually going to go all in to win on phase three with combat one, combat two. Okay. But for phase two, I don't want to deal with the damn boarding drone. Okay. So basically, I'm going to fire my hacking drone. I'm going to sit here and do this a bunch to cheese out it getting past the defense drone, which I find to be a legit strat. Uh, I don't really consider that an exploit because it does take some skill and time that you could be using to do other things to get it past. We also get to save a defense drone by doing this. Oh crap, I just fudged up. All right, he's got to move. What? Let me just say that was not my best execution. It was uh, actually pretty subpar execution. Oh my god, the crew's dying like crazy. Like gangbusters. Okay, we bought the value point in drones there immediately with our 80 scrap. And the reason we did that is the, the combat one, combat two is going to be uh, my breadwinner for this fight. Yeah, the crew kills there were spectacular. That makes me feel a lot better about uh, not running away from phase three. That went well.
What I messed up on there is I uh, accidentally depowered my shields and didn't notice right away. I think it could be Hell's Angel. I think it could be. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're gonna hole repair here for sure. It's the worst mind control that can happen here. Probably shields is the worst. Doors is fine, sensors is fine, weapons is okay. Weapons wouldn't be great, but I can, I can make it work. Them. Sensors, nice. Thank you for choosing to fight in the med bay. I appreciate you more than you know. Princess Luna85, little hand to you, friend. Welcome back to the Dapper. You damn legend. Summer 2012. Princess Luna MVP. Much love. G G. All right, here for Derper. So, what you're doing in that occasion? Here, I'll hop on cam and show you. Well, you're hacking drones coming in like this. The defense drone's right here. It's orbiting the enemy ship. Your hacking drone's coming in. The defense drone aims at it and then fires directly at the drone. So, by depowering the drone, it's coming in like this. Defense drone locks on, fires. You stop the power and it slows down and the shot goes right past the hacking drone. Repower hits the shields. So you're basically juking the defense's drone shot in that occasion. Sixty eighteen. 
What a score. Not a top for this ship. Wait, there's this one. The Love Boat. Neat. Do, do, do. Do, do. Um. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Had a really nice time. We got two no pause runs done. I'm probably going to make a spreadsheet this weekend with all the FTL ships so we can slowly uh, work off of that. But uh, amazing couple of runs tonight. Thank you all for joining for some FTL no pause, a little bit of pinball mixed in there during training. Been a wonderful day. I look forward to coming back and doing it again tomorrow at 7, well, 6 p.m. Pacific, let's say. Until then, keep it dapper and be good to each other. That's all I got for tonight. Frag out. Nikon662, thank you for these six consecutive months. And Death Base, thank you for the 19 consecutive months. Cannot wait to come back and do it again tomorrow. Thank you all for the wonderful six and a half hours. You're all beautiful. Take her easy.